There we go. You gotta talk, Maka. Talk. Talk. Oh god, his thing's not there. Where is he? Oh, cool. I just want to make sure. We're there right he is. The There's his head. I'll just readjust your head there, Maka. Man, you got a head on yeah. you. Big, big head. There we go. Thank you. Behold! Colts and militia! Excellent. All right, my mic. It should, all right, there we go. I don't want to be going into the yellow line. Oh, there we go. All right. Warmongering it. Okay, where is the... Uh... So my prediction, um, as you know, um, I've been at work and then I left work, went out to my property. I've been working on my property all night. Come home, hopped on Discord so we can do the stream. And I have not read any of this yet. I haven't even read the Warhammer article. All I did was put the pictures that were in this article up on YouTube just to say to people, we're doing a stream. Uh, so my prediction was that, uh, and I've avoided spoilers all day, thank Christ. Um, my prediction was that the militia are probably going to be stronger than Solar Auxilia in that they have a bit more versatility because of the provenances or whatever could have replaced provenances, but that because they probably are dependent on heavy weapons and tanks and artillery and stuff, they're probably going to suffer a bit in this meta, is my guess, because they're probably going to be, what, weapon skill 2, weapon skill 3, leadership, what, 6, 7, something like that, based off what Solar Auxilia stats are, because they can't be stronger than Solar Ox, right? That's my, that's, I don't know. <laughs> I will know when we start reading this. So, yeah. Can you tell me n now, ahead of time, whether or not I've guessed accurately or not? You're close, but you're way off. Um, where is the chat? No mercy. It's like when I lost my video. All right. If we can all refrain from throwing grenades at me, that would be great. Thank you for the uh, follow, though. I've actually right. lost the chat. Oh. Oh, oh, there you the are. <laughs> there you are. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I have like 57 <laughs> windows open. Uh, we, I, um, I can keep an eye on the chat in the background if you like. Ah, it's all good. Um, so, um, well, the, yeah, so the article cause... came out last night at about 10:30, I think, our time. Mm -hmm. And which is odd, right? Because like Heresy Thursdays were wrapped up last week. They're like, no more Heresy days and then they just drop one of the biggest things that's happened in heresy 2.0 just in the middle of the fucking night i guess it's like their morning but still yeah so they um i don't know what is it what is this article is that the new militia no new guardsmen are they new guardsmen yeah what are they those are the blackstone fortress traitor renegade guardsmen i think you reckon i think so Really not. They just painted. I them reckon up. they are. They just painted them in Cadian kind of colours. Yeah, weird. I, I recognise a few of those poses. Craziness. Um, um, goes on to say the, uh, the article is just like buy our stuff. I think the Imperialist Militia Army list, according to Andy, says this faction has always been a favourite amongst veteran players, especially with modelers, and has spiritual roots going back to the Lost and the Damned Army list in Codex Eye of Terror. And even further back still to the Chaos Cultus Army was in the very first Codex Chaos. Um, both of those books are pretty fun, I will admit. Um, I, I really wish we didn't really read this now. Now I'm even standard. more depressed. This actually made me depressed. I wasn't depressed mm -hmm. before this came out. And then this is kind of, why am I sad? And I think this is it. Yeah, looking at the Eye oh, of I... Terror Codex compared to this, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, with what was available at the time. It's going to be pretty hard to beat it, but I will note that or they've done a lot of conversions um, in these pictures of like House Cordor and things like that, but if you did a, a militia list, if it's anything like the old one where you need like 100 plus models to pay, holy fuck, is that going to be an expensive army? So, 
Um, but again, I don't know. Maybe they're more elite than the old one was, and you can get away with like 60 dudes or something. I don't know. Um, my guess that I said to Darcy was I didn't think they were going to do a full list because we were talking about it the other week. I was guessing they were going to be I, – I was like super cynical. I know that's hard to believe. Um, and I said whatever new stuff they released for 40K will wind up being – in here so like command squad got released kazakhan got released guardsmen got released sentinel got released new like heavy weapons teams new artillery and i was like so that will be in there that was my guess did did i guess rightly or wrongly because you've read it right yeah you're gonna be surprised about one of the vehicles actually i think so that's um good guess oh they didn't put the fucking rogal dawn in there no they put something else in there okay that's... Do you want to guess what it is? <laughs> it's better not be the Mastodon. Uh, no close, but nah. Anyway, oh, it's, um, it's going to be fun. We'll get to it, won't we? Yeah. Um, Rules-wise, the Age of Darkness players will find the army more or less as they remember it from the previous editions of the game. We've taken the opportunity to dial back some of the previous extremes, in particular moving away from huge fearless hordes. Oh man, I love zombie hordes. Macked up my masses of artillery. The game really Wait, what? Seriously? Well, we'll let's go back there. Oh, fu- huge against. fearless hordes. Okay, see how uh, fearless is it bold? So you still get hordes, you still get huge, but uh, fearless is off the table, unfortunately. Backed up by masses of artillery. Yeah, if they don't get shot at. All right, anyway, let's... But, ma- but he says doing? macked up my massive artillery, and the game doesn't support such forces as they were never particularly fun to play against. But artillery sucks in 2.0. So it, it's not an issue. The designers don't understand the game. Like, that was... Artillery is meant to be the great leveling field because it's like man for man, Imperial Guard or Imperial Militia, Imperial Army, whatever, can't fight a Space Marine. So you don't fight a man to man, you use artillery. And artillery this edition, as everybody in the chat would know, sucks. So, can you still do massed artillery? You could, but it's about as effective as uh, confetti at a wedding. Hmm. All at right. least, at least if you throw rice at them. Character yeah. and customization. And added in some options that leverage other recent releases, such as the Necromunda, Cargo 8, Ridge Hall, and Cadian Field Ordnance Batteries. <laughs> there it is, okay. Wait. Spoilers. <laughs> A ca- Cargo 8 Ridge Hall. <laughs> we not selling is. enough to justify the Necromunda. That's exactly hey? what I said, dude. That's exactly what I said, dude. It's just like, oh, uh, do you guys have any lines left? Uh, sure. And you get this <laughs> Ridge Hall. <laughs> That's hilarious, though, isn't it? Because it's like, could you imagine, like, this is militia. This is meant to be, like, the army reserves, right, on a planet. Oh, I don't like, know what the fuck this is. This is. this is fun. And it's, it's like the equivalent ridiculous. of, like, you ring up BHP and you're like, hey, you got a few, few spare cat trucks that we can turn into technicals. <laughs> it's like a Caterpillar truck with, like, 850 cows on it. <laughs> I don't know what you'd call uh, this. I'd, it's, it's a bizarre <laughs> mix of... All right, well, let's get into it then because we've got a lot to go through apparently. And like you say, I've got to figure it out as we go because I haven't, um, I haven't read it yet. There it is, the militia. All right, so yeah, it gets really chunky at the start, but then it dies down. So then it gives you the introduction. PDF is found. Make sure that you buy every single other book that we've previously made so far. It doesn't have the Cthonia book in there in the list of books to buy, but it has every other book in there. Horus Age of Darkness. Yeah. Loyalist. You've you got to get the Loyalist one, and you've got to get the Heretics one. You've got to get every book. Because, you know, if you don't, I, I don't know what happens if you don't. It explodes or something. Uh, core and expanded army list profiles. Uh, and then that goes on for four, four freaking paragraphs, which I think is their cutaway thing for their PDF stuff, right? Right. Okay, I'm with you, I'm with you. So what, it's not until page, what, five that you actually get into the army list? Yeah, but it's, there is, this is pretty crucial information, given that it's, uh, how the army runs and all that other jazz. Okay. Do you want to Order give us of the battle? Cliff notes? Eh. 
split asunder. This is probably, I haven't actually read this fluff because I assume something about Beaky Marines or something. I'm sure they've destroyed their own fluff in there. That's just a guess, though. Uh, the designer notes, though, for the Imperial Army uh, is very interesting to note because they talk about... Um, just going on about... All right, given the vast number of worlds contained within the Imperium, no two Imperialist militia armies look the same. The panoply of each dictated by the cultures and tactics of the planet it was drawn from. The Citadel miniatures and Forge World Rangers offer a multitude of options from which you can construct your army, combining parts to create your own personalized force. Further tailoring and conversion potential can be achieved through the provenance system, as described on page 9. The sole caveat to ensure that all models are clearly equipped with the weapons of relevant war gear stated on their profile. For more complex conversions, always inform your opponent before the battle so both players are clear. Apart from that, the only real limitation with Imperialis Militia is your own imagination. Okay. Mm. So then Seems it fair. goes into the army list on page five. All right. When determining allies, attachments select from Imperial Alice Militia Army is using Imperial Army line in the allies, the Age of Darkness. Yes, that makes perfect sense. However, detachments with Kinfolk Helots, Abhuman Muster, or Ogren Conscripts provenances must instead be classed as distrusted allies by all Space Marine Legion detachments and Solar Auxiliary detachments, regardless of faction. Detachments selected from the Legio Custodes Army list must class all detachments selected from Imperialis Militia list as by the Emperor's command instead. So they just hate militia. <laughs> so it's all like snobs. Like, yeah, hey, militia. <laughs> What's that? Um, the, the Twilight Vampires? Like, <laughs> the real, like, snobby. Uh, that's funny. Uh, so the militia unit subtype. The following rules apply to all models of the militia unit subtype. They only attempt to regroup if the unit includes at least half of the models that include at the beginning of the battle. So if you have 20 models in a squad, you lose 11, you can never rally. Correct? So, so uh, yeah, so you can, in the main rule book, you can roll snake eyes. It says you can roll snake eyes and you can rally like the uh, insane courage or whatever. This stops that. And if you lose half, if you go to 50% and you've failed a 50% or more, of that squad you've lost, and you failed a morale check, that means you can never regroup. And mm -hmm. more so, if you are caught, or an enemy assaults you, you just get immediately destroyed. Blah. Yep. A unit includes any models with this, uh, that he's falling back and he's successfully charged by an enemy, is also automatically removed from players' casualty with no leadership test made or dice roll. A unit includes any models that have the militia subtype, but not the monstrous or mechanized unit subtypes that is locked in combat and is successfully charged by an additional enemy, and it must make an immediate morale check once the charge is being resolved as part of the charge subphase. If the check is failed, the militia unit must fall back as if it had lost combat. So you can have a unit that is locked in combat, has lost 11 models out of 20, gets charged by another unit, and then they have to make a morale check, even though they haven't lost any combat. And then they fail just for the fact they were charged by someone else. And then they can never rally. That's rough. Um, legions that are able to pull off multi-charges then are going to be very, very strong. Because you could just charge them twice. And without even having to fight the combat, you just charge two units into them and they, they run. Mm, but given the numbers, you won't be able to do that because they should be able to outnumber. Um most legions i think the idea of this army is to yeah, basically it, just outnumber your um, enemy all but but all you need to do is charge two units into a militia list into a militia unit and then they have to make an immediate morale check and if you're something like night lords and you cause fear yeah but um, i'll right. just say i have we'll go into it later but you know you can have 18 units on the board Yep. Of men, even though they're not I'm, doing I'm, I'm anything, so there's not enough turns for you to actually, if you're dedicating two units to assaults, it could work in specific circumstances, but you'd well, want to Well, I'm thinking like those allocate. units that like flank up the side of the battlefield, like this would give minimum squads of jet bikes, for example, some decent, like, you know, ability. Could do. Could do. Um... All right, so third line unit subtype. The following rules apply to all models of the militia subtype. When an arm penetration roll would inflict a glancing hit on the model of this unit type, instead it inflicts a penetrating hit. Okay. 
So it's kind of like the old open top. Mm. Um, mm. Old, old, yeah. An em- yeah, real old one. Um, an enemy player may never score victory points for the structure model with this unit subtype. Well, that's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, it's, that's actually, because that's a huge one, getting glancing, going to penetrating hits. It's good that they've given something back that it doesn't count as a um, victory points. You can't get victory points for it. I like that. At least that's a huge... That's, that's really fluffy. Yeah, it's a huge... That's, that's okay. Like, when I first read that, I'm just like, holy hell. And at least they're giving... Yeah, giving the unit not... Correction, the unit's not giving up victory points, which is... That's good. I don't mind a bad debuff if you're getting something good in return, and that is definitely a good one. Whereas the militia su- unit subtype is very trashy. Um, mechanized subtype. So... Successful wounds caused by poisoned or flesh bane must be re-rolled against models with this subtype. Uh huh. Fail to wound rolls made for weapons with the armor bane X special rule against the unit that includes this must be re-rolled. A model with the mechanized unit subtype may attack with all weapons it has when making shooting attack, including its part of reaction. That's good. A model with the mechanized unit subtype may attack with heavy and ordnance weapons while still counting as stationary, even if it has moved in the preceding movement phase and may declare charges as normal, regardless of any shooting attacks made in the same turn. A model with the mechanized unit subtype is affected by Haywire, Detonation, and Battlesmith, as if it had the Dreadnought unit type, and no model that does not also have the mechanized unit subtype may join a unit that includes... So I'm guessing this is for something like Sentinels, right? Yes. And I'm going to guess they're... Some they're Sentinels old, are in... Yeah, th- yeah, that's right. So that's a good, well, good guess on that nothing... one. Nothing there that I don't like. Really? Like, because I militia think, getting think... cut down when fleeing, like, their leadership's six base across. There are some buffs you can I, get, I, but holy man, I that's I mean, I don't see rough. them ever winning a combat. Um, well, actually, I, I haven't read all the rules yet, but I don't imagine they've got higher than weapon skill three anywhere, right? Um, some buffs that you can give, but yeah. You're okay. mostly um, correct. So they're probably not going to win an awful lot of combats. I'm more worried about the fact that if you do have, like, a big squad that is below half strength, like, I feel like that's too easy a threshold to reach. Like, remember with Necrons, like, they used to have that phase-out rule, and it was like, you had to kill, I think, three quarters, and then you tested for it. Or something like how Lord of the Rings works, where once you lose half your army, then your morale starts to degrade type thing, and you make a, a check for every unit. If they fail the morale, then they disappear. Something like that would probably work a little bit better. Seems a little bit too strong at the moment, but I don't hate it. I think it's thematic, at least. Like, I would play that and be okay with it, I think. Yeah, everyone's going to be like happy really to play Militia. Unit. No one is never going to be all like, okay, yeah, I'm not going to play Militia. You're you're too OP. Like, there's... No, no, I mean playing as Militia. You're not playing as much. I'd be happy. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm thinking of dusting off some of my 3D scops. Thank you. 3D scops. Um, How many do you have? 900? Because yeah, you don't have 900. Yeah, my iron face, guys. Oh, God. Not that again. No. All right. <laughs> Moving on. My iron warrior is militia that I custom sculpted. Anyway. Yes. I'm sure you could do a better right. job now that you've had a little bit more hands-on with the tools. Warlord traits. Yep. Do you want to take us through the warlord traits? Oh, we can go, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, so, Ruthless Tyrant, uh, you get Fear 1, special rule. Your troops also are affected by that as well. Friendly troops are affected by it. Um, but if you fail, any of those troops fail a morale trick, you can uh, fall back during the movement phase. Or shooting phase, then the controlling player may instead remove D6 models. So basically, he shoots them, and uh, you pass the morale phase. Models with the monstrous unit type from that unit as casualties. What? Or a single model? Okay, so it's only one model from it. So you get one from the monstrous. It's D6 from every other jerk face unit. Uh, it's okay. It's it's pretty good. It was the bubble. If he dies, does he do you get anything if he dies? In addition, the army with the warlord has that has this trait and may make an additional reaction during the opponent's assault phase. I don't like the assault phase. I guess you can brace, right? That's 
you can brace and then, but I don't know, bracing counts as a leadership test. So if you fail that leadership test, could you use this to shoot dudes and brace anyway? Don't know. Pretty in depth. Don't there. think you can perform a reaction when you're falling back. You no, so if you brace, if you brace and you fail your morale check, you got to do a morale check before you brace, which makes the uh, yes, other yes, unit yes. a disorder charge. So I don't know if you can just uh, use this ability to shoot them in the face and just brace anyway, because you're know, nothing good, nothing better than bracing with like six militia against a, a, the spoiler squad of twenty. I know that's going to go real well. Uh, Merchant Princeling gets twin correction. He gets master crafted on all weapons. You get a lifeguard unit. The lifeguard unit is. A command squad, I believe. So I'm just trying to go over it real fast so we can have more time to get into the uh, units. I don't like that. I, I mean, I, I like it that it's affecting everyone, yes, and it affects close combat and ranged from the looks of it, but Mastercraft's a pain in the butt because you've got to roll everyone individually. No, no, just, just his. Ju just his, but it's just his weapons. Just the warlords, not the units, I'm pretty sure. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the unit, oh, the unit case, itself gets the... to reroll ones. Uh, and they could very well be a the lifeguard unit is a unit subtype. You get the heavy unit subtype, which has got a little bit of a buff. It's just like he's he's hired some mercenaries, and they're a little bit better with stuff. Right. Well, well done. You get an extra assault phase reaction. Beloved of the people, this is one that the people are actually jumping on. I've seen a lot of meme lists. Oh, all of these lists are memes, which I'm loving, but man, no one's no one's actually going to build them. Anywho, uh, if during the player's turn a model with this warlord trait is removed as a casualty, then all other friendly models in the same detachment gain a bonus plus one to their weapon skill and strength characteristics and feel no pain for a plus special rule until the end of the warlord's controlling players. Next player's turn. It's only for one turn, so that's that's. That's awesome, though. But that's it like is when okay. you leave a game of Company of Heroes and get replaced by the AI. <laughs> oh, thank God, the casualties are going down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. For those who don't know, Cat loves to send wave after wave of men to their deaths. <laughs> it's it's a it's a current tactic. Just give it a try. Uh, in addition. An army whose warlord has this trait may make an additional reaction during the opponent's shooting phase, as long as the warlord hasn't been removed as casualty. Um, is there anything else? The unit? Yeah, no. no. Oh, it, what? If a warlord with this trait has been removed as a casualty, then the army may make an additional reaction during the opponent's assault phase instead. That's cool. You're still getting a yeah, you double. You're still getting a reaction. reaction. That's nice. And then you have. Meh. Oh. Matcha Lord, Matcha, like March is that it? Matcha, like green tea. Doesn't Del sound right, does it? Delicious. Matcha, say it, Frenchy. Matcha. Uh, a wallet with his trait gains the battle hardened one special rule. <laughs> okay. Hey, and... what tough looks is the warlord? What? <laughs> Have a guess. Yeah, Three. It's, it's yeah. Swish. Yeah, that um, sucks. Um... Yeah, it does. And if the army they are part of. Includes only detachments with the Imperial Melissa, Mil Melissa, Militia faction. Then all friendly units are immune to the effects of fear. Special rule. That's that's pretty strong. But he's going to get shot in the face with a freaking meme assist. Let's be real. Uh, furthermore, as long as the warlord with this trait has not been removed as a casualty in the game, automatically successful correction controlling player. Then turn is automatically successful without any dice roll being rolled. In addition. An army whose warlord has to get an extra shooting attack as long as he's alive. So that's not immune to fear is good because so the negatives your leadership. Lord and a lot of the people are both really good. I like them both. And you know what? Two decent warlord traits is better than most factions have got. Um, except for Imperial Fists, of course. <laughs> mm, I like Relentless Tyrant. I think I'm going to use Relentless Tyrant for my allied detachment. For my uh, Newman Gun Clans from Bod, who were originally know, from the love of the people would suit you far better. And then I like Merchant Pin Princeling because it gives you the idea to have that guy who's all jazzed up, got the gold guns, got some crazy militia um, mercenary force, his bodyguard unit, and stuff like that. So I, 
understand where they're going with the traits to give modeling perspective. And, you know, you don't have to follow the, these specifically. Are you going to have like a super the blinged out merchant? Are you going to have like a super blinged out merchant princeling just surrounded by like some court, house court or gangers? Yeah. And just like muddy, and, muddy and like potato Mac sacks. Is saying, like the beloved of the people is supposed to be a, he's a good guy, right? Like a good guy, bad guy trope. Because so Mac is saying that that's a good one that, that officer is bad on the troops morale and that when he dies they become better because they actually hated him so much so you don't actually have to follow the, the explanation of of them as long as you can come up something within the left and right of arc and have a better understanding i, uh, I think yeah. march what, award what? would apply to i mean just matching these up with legions like your beloved of the people would be like your salamanders your ultramarines that sort of thing um your merchant princeling would be your like emperor's children hanger on, you know, with his fancy gear. The marcher lord would be like your death guard, your iron warriors, uh, ruthless tyrant. I think would be like sons of Horus, world eaters. Yeah, I think you're on the money there. Maybe no, space I think I even. think you could. Uh, I reckon you can chop and change it. You don't have to. Don't put yourself in a box. And you can definitely think of different ways of doing it. And oh no, no I'm just saying. Like, I got immediately the legions I'm thinking of that these right. would suit as like allied to, or you know, yeah. All right, that's cool. All right, so what's up next? The connoisseur of alien curio. Yes, this this one's hilarious. You got to read this one because your reaction to the be commander hilarious. has used the status and resources of their rank to indulge a taste for numerous curiosities to be found amidst the tombs. Oh, so they're corrupt generals. Right. Uh, once per game turn, at the start of any game turn, the controlling player of a warlord with this trait may choose to activate an artifact. If this option is chosen, they roll once on the table below to see what their Fabergé egg does. D6, the artifact effect. The warlord suffers one automatic wound with the instant death special rule with no armor saves. Cover saves or damage mitigation rolls allowed, though invulnerable saves may be taken as normal, and that's if he rolls a 1. All other units with at least one more within 12 inches of the Warlord, including the unit the Warlord is part of, suffer D6 plus 1 hits at strength 8 AP 4. These hits are allocated. What is it? VX gas? Like in the rock? He just like grows on those green vials out and just cracks it. <laughs> um... Uh, two to three. The and th this is once per nominate. game turn, by the way. So this is, this is really bizarre. Right. Six so multiple times this yeah. could have happened. That would be so funny, though, if you had the artifact um, number one and you were running that beloved of the people and he just, like, detonates himself in front of everyone. <laughs> um, and everyone's just so inspired by losing him. They gain plus one weapon skill. It's great. Oh, we got a um, super chat there uh, from Bryce McEwen. Nice to have at least some rules. I'm over here. Converting some song Lannisters. Song Lannisters. What are song Lannisters? Is that that from uh, Song of Ice and Fire Tabletop? Oh, it's not right. Uh, and Gondor dudes. It, surely that uh, that scales out of whack. All right. Anyway, uh, for an Allied detachment. All right. Sure. It'd have to be out of whack. That, that's right. <laughs> that's, that's a cool. nice scale. Yeah. I'm fine with it. Yeah. I had, like, more power to you. It's wig and you put some effort in. I'm down with it. Oh, I'm, um, I'm happy with whatever. I'm just, I'm impressed if someone's playing militia. Oh my god! Sorry, yes, continue. Two, two continue. three. The, the ward player, uh, the ward's control player, must nominate one unit friendly or enemy within twelve inches line of sight of the war ward. Um, that unit suffers D six plus one hits at strength eight AP four, which are counted as having the death look rate special rule. If no other unit can be nominated, then the unit the war is part must suffer the hits. 4 to 5, the Warlord and all models in the same unit gain the Rage 2 and Furious Charge 2 special rules for the remainder of the game turn. You want to hope you got him in something like Ogrens, because that's probably not going to do much in like a squad of dudes with shivs. Um, yeah, they, 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 this is still sticks, Warlord traits, Mecca, so you can't, you can't stack him. This the is just still Warlord. Warlord gains the Eternal Warrior and Feel No Pain 4 plus special rules for the remainder of the battle. If this result is rolled again, then the Warlord also gains a bonus of plus one to their strength and toughness characteristics for the remainder of the battle. This bonus is cumulative. If this result is rolled a third or more times, up to a maximum six for either characteristic. Hmm. Yeah, so th this is a, this is just another Warlord trait, my bad. So this is like, yeah, just more Warlord traits. Then you have the Rubber Baron. That has the potential to be amazing if you have, like, rigged dice. That's that's your uh, okay. That's your uh, input there, 
rigged dice squad, you just want to keep on rolling sixes. And sorry, I didn't realize. I thought this was like no, 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 no. no. It does. It's it. It's weird because it sorry. is just a. Yeah, it's a weird wall of trait. There was more space yeah. on the page before. I would have thought they would have started writing it on that page and continued on, not you know page break, but. That's fine. That's cool. Um, Robert Baron, all models in the end include a wall of this trait, gain a bonus of plus one to their strength for the duration of any player turn in which they make successful charge, but that unit may not make sweeping advances in any turn. However, whenever such a unit would otherwise be eligible to make sweeping advances, the controlling player must instead roll a d6. On the result of a four, five, or six, the controlling player gains d3 victory points. Okay. In addition, an army whose ward has this trait may make an additional reaction during their opposed movement phase as the war is not being removed as a casualty. Okay, well, now I know that all six of these are war traits. Like I said, all that blank space on the page before, they could have put Robert Baron up there, right? But anyway. Uh, you know what? I like these war traits. What do you specifically like about them, sir? There's a bit of fun. Nothing is in there, but I'm like, oh, this is stupidly broken must take it every game and nothing's in there that i'm like oh you would never ever ever touch that what an awful thing um which is more than i can say for most of the legions yeah i like this i think you find that um that uh imperial fists are very balanced now you get anyway. other legions but sure all right so all so right. here's the force Page commander. We actually... Force commander. Okay. 100 points. He's movement six. What is skill four? Yuck. Yeah. He's still uh, just a human. yuck. He is? Only human, Does right? Does he have some sort of special rule like the Dark Angels? Like, you know how they got that half a point weapon skill rule where it's like if they face someone who's got the same weapon skill, they hit him on a three? Does he have something like that? Because that would be really cool. There are some buffs. Would you believe if I said he could get to initiative five? Yes, I would yeah, believe that. Very bizarrely. But anywho, but just on the Force Commander thing, uh, yep, so there is the stats. Three is mostly cost of broad. Leadership eight, you can give him, you can't give him a Tissifer armor, so the best he can get is power armor. Or you give him the Cyber Familiar and the Iron Halo, which gives him a three plus and vulnerable anyway, but that's looking at 30 points there. You can give, make him a Mounted Force Commander. And the Mounted Force Commander uh, has his different profile in there. Um, and then if he is Mounted Force Commander, he can take a Militia Lance for five points. So there is that. So you can see where that's going. With uh, You can have a Cavalry Army, maybe. Let's, yes. let's yes. go on. For those new um, Rough Riders that were released. Oh! My cynicism is paying off healthily. Oh, yes. Um, so, no, and look, especially it's, it's, that, um, that, that new, who was it? Oh, there's that dude with the sword up in the air on the horse. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's what I said. All the new, oh, so my guess wasn't that far off with Darcy when I said all the new stuff will have concurrent rules. Um, but look, he's fine for what he is. He's probably, ex he's probably too expensive base points. If you compare that, that's the same cost as a Legion Praetor. A Legion Praetor is coming in with two points high weapon skill, a point of strength, a point of toughness, um, two points of initiative, one extra attack, two points of leadership, a two plus save backed by a four plus invulnerable, plus the Legion special rules, um, plus Master of the Legion. 100 points is far too expensive for this character. No. This is 70 points. Okay. So, but, but, no, but no, no, on, no, no, here's on. the thing. I, I yeah. want to caveat that because... You're, you're, you're because talking before you meme on. Before you meme I on. I do understand that the provenances of war exist, and, and they, they are going to buff the character. But he doesn't pay and for them they either. are free. They are free, yes. Yes, but all his war gear here is very expensive. Right, and yeah, he, I reckon, yeah, you reckon, yeah. Fair enough. Also, there's know, no like, zero to one limitation on him. So, have that in mind. Not that you can... We'll get into that, but... Not that an issue yep. if you just wanted to spend 300 points on characters. Because his, his, his provenance of war would have to be amazing to justify him being 100 points base. That's what I'm getting at. Well, they're amazing because they buff the army, not him. But nevertheless, most of the time they don't buff him. 
The warlord traits. Yeah, which means why you're paying 100 points for it. Like, that's not worth 100 points. Because it's uh, anyway, we'll it's see. Just a minor. So he's got the the muster of worlds. If the de detachment contains a force commander, that then it may also possess up to two provenances. So even if you have three uh, force commanders, then I'm pretty sure you can, you can only have two provenances. The way that's written is pretty pretty clear there, even though I asked a mm -hmm. bunch of people. Unless noted, the effect of these apply to any and all units in the same detachment with the militia unit subtype. Thank you, Bryce McEwen, again for the super chat. Yeah, it's the Gondor horse dudes. And is that the GW name? So Gondor horse dudes, and it's supposed to be genetically engineered army. So the little men get the horses because the others are too big. <laughs> That's awesome. Like it. That's awesome. Is that like the reverse of the scale creep in the rest of the game system? I love that. That's great. You know what? I'm cool with that. Go for it. Um, all right. So the muster of worlds here and the providence of war. I really want to say they've learned something here from my constant whinging. They probably didn't listen to me at all. Um, but they've put the rules directly after the unit, which thank Christ. Like, having to go to whole other parts of the Legion books to go, like, oh, what are the console types? What are the rights of war? Like, good. It's right next to the entry. Perfect. They, they had it right last edition. I don't know why they moved away from it. So immediately the layout is better, um, which I really appreciate. So obviously your provenances of war here act like last edition. So pick two, and I'm going to guess straight Up away. Two. You can also just have one. Like you can... Yeah, but I'm going to say there's obviously some some of these are like you can't take this if you've taken that or you're a loyalist, right? Yes, but very minimally. Most of them, okay. they don't, because the last time it was really chessboardy or checkerboardy. I don't know how you do it, but like a lot of them cancelled out the others kind of thing. You, you couldn't take it if you were a loyalist trader and stuff like that. This is more streamlined, I'd like to say, and there's a le less restrictions. Still some, but a lot less. Well, let's see. Warrior Elite. All eligible units and models receive plus one to their leadership characteristic to a maximum of nine. Imperialist Militia Levy squads in a detachment of this province gain the support squad special rule, and all Imperialist Militia Grenadier squads in a detachment of this province lose the support squad special rule. So this would explain why their um, leader, Bean, is only leadership eight. Uh, Legacy of the Great Crusade. <laughs> Lead of Bean. Oh, someone militia. make a Bean army. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Bean hey, world. All shapes and sizes, Cat. All Imperialist Militia, Grenadier Squads, Imperialist... Yeah, it's, it's an army left by Lizzo. Um, Imperialist Militia, Grenadier Squad, Imperialist Militia, Command Cadres, uh, Discipline Masters in a detachment with this provenance. Increase the ability skill by plus one. Force Commander proves his initiative to five. There it is. I don't know why. That's a strong... It's, not for him, but for the army, that is strong. For the army is strong, but it's just huge. really bizarre that he just gets initiative five. Why initiative? That's a really bizarre... Why because not weapon possibly skill, possibly five? skill doesn't mean anything to him. No, okay. But why initiative? Why not weapon skill? Like, did he go to sword training? What is he doing? Is he because just addicted to speed? There's probably one that gives weapon skill, right? Yeah, but not, uh, to, okay, well, so not to him, not to five. Like, it's just really bizarre initiative. Folk, Why? Initiative five. Bizarre, I agree. Because he's faster than a Marine, then. That makes no sense. I'm so confused at why they chose initiative five there in that specific thing, especially if you look, read the, the fluff of, like, the ancestors taught them how to shoot. What did the other... It's a shame like, because the Force Commanders are generally, like, the old guy. Yeah, well, apparently like, it's just dude the dude on the crack pipe this time. Auxilia. Well, you know the old general for the Solar Auxilia? Um, I remember seeing the model for him and being like, oh, wow, that's amazing, like the model that never was. Anyway, uh, Clan Folk Levy, a detachment of this provenance may choose to fill compulsory troops choices only with Imperialist Militia Cavalry squads. With all models, the Imperialist Militia Cavalry uh, gaining plus one leadership characteristic if their troops uh, allow Imperialist Militia Cavalry Squads to be selected as non-compulsory troops choices in addition attachment with this province may include four additional so with white scars. That's fine. 
Uh, interesting that like Clan Folk Levy, I thought with a name like that, it was going to be like Squats or something. Like Dwarf Clans. But, mm. uh, gene Crafted. Once all models have been deployed, but before the beginning of either player's first turn, the controller player must roll once for each unit that contains any eligible models in the table below. One, the unit begins the battle pinned. <laughs> oh, goody. <laughs> this overrides any rule which would normally allow a unit to ignore being pinned. Uh, if the unit is embarked on a model, the transport unit subtype, then it must make an emergency disembark and then he's pinned. <laughs> <laughs> How good is it? Um, units are in reserve, ignore this effect and suffer no penalty or benefit when they enter play. That's really rough. Like, you're giving away something like plus on ballistic skill to take this. As yeah, a this one is a joke one, of honestly. Massively backfiring. Um, a minor backfire, like you just gain nothing. Okay, but not only are you getting pinned, but you're like jumping out of tanks to pin yourself. And, oh, no, it's just, just too far. Um, two to five, all eligible models in the unit with the infantry, or because you're saying you might have 18 infantry units, right? That means that like three of them at least are going to roll ones. Uh, all eligible models in the army. Uh, sorry, in the, with the intro recovery special rules, gain one of the following special rules selected by a controlling player for the duration of the battle. Fleet 2, move through cover or night vision. Night vision, I think, would be useful on, like, heavy weapon squads or something, which I'm assuming they would have, um, because Cadians have them in their new models, so these guys would have to, right? Something uh, what, they won't be useless. taking is heavy weapons, but anyway, go on. Yeah, Fleet 2 is useless for, for the kind of armies I play. You would probably enjoy Fleet 2. Uh, and move through cover. I, I so think you're on. not you're not gonna play heavy weapons. Oh, that's my prediction. But anyway, yep. Don't you worry when you see what I want to do with militia. Human wave. Um, six. All eligible models in the unit with the infantry or cavalry unit type gain one of the following special rules selected by the controlling player. Uh, for the duration of the battle, relentless, stubborn, adamantium will six plus. Adamantium Will 6 Plus is pretty pathetic. Um, yeah, anything 6 Plus is pretty pathetic. It could be good on heavy weapons. Stubborn, though, would be really good on infantry. Really good. Um, or all of the special rules presented for the result 2 to 5. So you could get fleet move through cover and night vision. That's also pretty good. Okay. Um, I think Gene Crafted has too great of a negative if you roll a one to be offset by the other abilities. It's it's not a complete stinker, but it's I think a, a subpar rule. Cyber Augmentics. All eligible units and models gain the Feel No Pain Six Plus. Ugh, Feel No Pain Six Plus sucks, donkey dick. Why do they keep doing it? Like, just do the five plus. Um, and it's not like you're gonna get it. There's so many strength. Fucking six AP4 weapons out there. No one in this army's getting a feel no pain save. Um, and Psalm Purposeful special rules. Psalm Purposeful? Oh, they brought that back. That had vanished this for a while. Psalm Purposeful is an awful, awful rule. Uh, this provenance may not be chosen in conjunction with the gene craft of provenance or any detachment is treated as. So, so you, ugh, no, just no. Cyber medics is awful. But uh, you, you get uh, you become Swan Brothers with Mechanicum faction, which because their thralls suck, at least this is an option now. <laughs> so you can replace thralls with thralls. Uh, Alchem Jackers. All units of this provenance do not suffer negative modifiers to their leadership characteristic in the assault phase. That's really strong. If less than half the moles in the unit have been removed, casualties and morale check made for it due to casualties to shoot phase failed, they become pinned instead of falling back. If more than half the moles in the unit have been removed as casualties, then it must fall back as normal, which means delete us. Um, but they have the option of taking friends on. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's meant to be like a frenzy drug, but it sounds like you're being friend zoned. <laughs> Just. Uh, all models in any unit with this provenance can be upgraded to have Furious Charge 1 special rule for plus 25 points a year. That's a lot of points. I guess if they're really big units, that's fine. I, I feel like they need to go back to like 3rd edition 40k, or it's like you just pay one point per model. 
you know, so that's tailored to the size of the unit rather than just being, because you want to encourage people to, this is my opinion, right? You encourage people to take a theme army wide. You do that by making the points fair. And you say, look, if you want every in your, unit in your army to have this rule for theme, then let's make it affordable. Let's not make you waste a bunch of points on sub high units just to do it to keep your theme up, you know? But that's just me. Minor nitpick. I'm, I'm liking this so far. Uh, Imperialist Militia Spires of the Dark Age. So your Grenadier squads and Militia Command cadres of this provenance may take either a Rhino, Termite, when they read a Proteus, is dedicated transport so long as they number 10 models or less. See the Legionnaires of Studies Crusade army list for details and points cost. However, all such vehicles lose the Legionnaires of Studies X special rule. No shit. <laughs> Gain the third line unit subtype and reduce their ballistic skill to three. Why would a Lamb Raider Proteus be a third line unit? No, it's all rusted out and shit. I don't know, man. <laughs> How funny they're is that? They're brand new. In fact, they're so good, they're going to be taking them off the Imperial Army at the end of the Horus Heresy <laughs> to give to the Space Marine chapters. Like, yeah, look, these are so good. No one else. Can. But in this list, they're like, oh, what a piece of junk. <laughs> and uh, also, we forgot to put the roof on it, apparently, or something. <laughs> I don't know. And you know what this would mean? That even the power of the machine spirit loses ballistic skill because, like, I don't know, the AI has got a computer virus that's running the fucking uh, poor land raiders. Well, Mr. Roth says, um, Stone <laughs> Purposeful has potential for heavy lattice rifles. Fair call, fair call, but you still... Yeah, but, it, it, like, the rule before Cyber Medics, right, gene-crafted, you could get Relentless. Wouldn't that be better? Like, Relentless has always been superior to Slime Purposeful. Yeah, but that's, on a, that's RNG. Got... Like, you actually know that you're going to get uh, Slime well, Purposeful, whereas you're going to be It's a five in six chance that you're going to get Relentless, and potentially Relentless and Night Vision at the same time, which is better. So, not not saying that the point is discounted. Matthias Roth is perfectly um, correct. Uh, oh, but Spires of the Dark Age has an option. Avoid jumpers. All models in Imperialist Militia Reconnaissance Squad may be upgraded to have Militia Jump Packs, or sorry, Jet Packs, to replace all weapons with two last pistols or oil pistols at a cost of 20 points per unit. That's pretty cheap. Uh, any discipline masters, militia, Medicaid, or any other models assigned to the squad before deployment, but not models that join the unit by means of independent carry, special rule, maybe give militia jetpacks for no additional cost. That's really cool. I like that. Uh, model militia jetpack may not be given any heavy weapons. Okay. Militia jetpack. Uh, move 12. So How, it's pretty much look, a jump two pack. Two power graphs. It's, it's ridiculous. Look at that. It's just an old Surely it's old they could have made pack. that a lot less wordy. That's really uh, they're like bloating. Yeah, it's it's the jump packs from last edition of 40k. Mm. Cool. It's a, it's sad that the uh, only recon squads can get it because putting them in Ogrens, that would have been sweet. Oh well. Rip. Would you take this? No. Nah, on not. recon squads. No. It's okay. Because there's a specific reason, and that's because they've brought back sniper rifles. And oh boy, if you didn't think what a Memesis bolter was, you're gonna be confused even more now. Armory okay. of Old Knight. All eligible models in this attachment with the provenance may upgrade LAS guns to LAS rifles for an additional cost. No additional cost, correction. Uh, options. The uh, Relic Arms. Eligible models in the militia, grenadier squads, and militia command cadres, cadre may upgrade LAS guns to either Volkite Chargers or Assault Needlers. May upgrade LAS Pistols to either Volkite Serpenta or needle, pistol, needle Pistols. May upgrade Sniper Rifles to Needle Velnas. Velmas? Velnas? No, it's... Bon Bonas? Bonas? Yeah, what a weird word. And Heavy Stubbers to Volkite Kelvin or Needle Cannon. At a cost of 30 points per unit. That's Regardless per unit. Okay. of the number of the models or types of weapon upgrades in that given unit. Okay, so this really rewards big units is, is a theme I'm seeing here repeatedly. Yes. 
obviously they want they unlike the lion they obviously produced a lot of imperial guard stock and you can probably get that off of the website right now so there is that and then they have yeah, a heavy, heavy stubbers the Volkite culverins though is really good yes you could do a lot of tumen heirloom of past glory heirloom or heirloom uh, a force commandanter in a detachment with the province may exchange a power weapon for a paragon blade for 10 points and or les pistol for an archaeotech pistol for a further 10 points I think this would work well with the merchant guy because then he's just like balling, you know. He's got his sword, he's got, and there's free master crafted as well. Just balling, man. Obviously, he's not going to do anything, but still, balling. And um, well, I guess if you took the initiative five upgrade with this, that's something. Oh, true. You get the. It's just turning. It's just turning him into more and more of a point sink, though. Like. Yeah, but he looked bad. He's going to die. He certainly is. All that's going to happen is the Scorpius is going to blow him a new meme hole. Yeah, but he's going to be like one of those like Saddam Hussein's kids with like his golden AK. It's... Yankees. Uh, for warriors, all eligible units and models gain a bonus of plus one to the to their weapon skill characteristics for the duration of any player turn in which they make a successful charge. However. An eligible unit that begins the controlling player's assault phase within 12 inches of one or more enemy units must have a charge declared for it. Though the controlling player may choose to target, to choose the target of the charge. There's just like berserker assault for world eaters, but they're options, 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 options. Chain axes, any model eligible to benefit from this provenance may upgrade a basic close combat weapon to a chain axe for plus two points per model or upgrade a chain sword to a chain axe for one point per model. So that Would you do it? No, because it pisses me off that you have to have a chain sword to be able to upgrade your chain axe when you're a world eater. These guys are just finding them on the floor, apparently. Paying points, but yeah. Um, cool thing is you could give you could give this to the one we haven't seen yet, but that'd be kind of funny. You could there there's a meme here. There is a meme which is funny. Do you give it to like Ogrins or something? There it is. There's the meme. Uh, you fi you figured out the meme. All right. Well, you can read the kinfolk one. You like okay. the folk? Oh, I don't understand the folk pellets. the folk thing. Why are they just putting folk on everything? What is this? Who made this? Uh, it sounds like like there's someone's gonna have a loot. <laughs> uh, all eligible units and models receive an increase of plus one to their toughness characteristic, but also lower their initiative and movement characteristic by minus. Oh, goody! Uh, not affected. Uh, okay, if their movement is zero, all eligible models in attachments province of the character unit subtype gain the battlesmith six plus special rule, or if they have the independent character special rule, gain the battlesmith five plus. Okay, that's actually a very, very strong ability because if you're a gun line, you're not going to move anyway. Um, and you might just throw a few, like, horses in there to run up the board. In which case, having a bunch of characters that can repair tanks and stuff, it's pretty handy. So I think this is more of the dwarf. Yeah, it's There's definitely dwarf supposed thing. to be squats. Mm. Just, mm, okay. Uh, abhuman... Muster. I always said Abhuman Munster. <laughs> do, mm, do you watch that uh, Rob Zombie Munsters? I never Has did. That come out yet? I don't know. Has it? Looked awful. <laughs> it looked very um, bad. It was almost as bad as this. <laughs> look, <laughs> um, Abhuman Munster. All eligible units and models receive an increase of plus one to the strength characteristic, but also lower the ballistic skill by minus one. Um... And if they do not already possess any variant of the bulky X special rule, gain the bulky two special rule. All eligible models in attachment with this provenance and the character unit subtype gain the hammer of wrath special rule. And if they also have the independent character special rule or launch unit subtype, they gain hammer of wrath two instead. May not be taken in conjunction with the Ogren conscripts provenance. I could see feral warriors and abhuman muster going together quite nicely. Uh, okay. The based rabble. 
finally appealing to the player base. Uh, the Providence may only be selected by an army with the Traitor Allegiance. All eligible units and models of the Providence gain the Crusader and Hatred Everything special rules. However, they must always declare a charge, targeting an enemy if they are able. Imperialist militia grant deer squads may not be taken in touch with use of this provenance, and this provenance may not be used in conjunction with the survivors of the Dark Age provenance. Sad reacts only. Uh, tainted flesh, also appealing to the player base. Uh, this provenance may only be selected by an army with the traitor allegiance. All eligible units are mostly the Fear 1 and Furious Charge 1 special rules. However, uh, the attachments compositories must be filled by Imperialist militia levy squads and may not have more infantry units accepting HQ choice of other types and has Imperialist Militia Levy squads in total. That's kind of rough. I would say it seems a little bit better than previously, but yeah. Um, so if you had like six troops choices, that would limit you apart from your HQs to six other units in the whole rest of your army. Hmm. Mm, it is kind uh, of cannot be can take, taken in conjunction with the Survivors of the Dark Age, Gene Crafted, Overall Conscripts, or Alchem Jackets. Yeah, so that's the first one that we've seen, and thankfully it's one of the few ones that we do see that has that. Bryce McEwen with a super chat. Thanks again, Bryce. Merchant Prince would make a cool rogue trader. Yeah, absolutely. I think that would be cool. That's something you could uh, definitely add in as an allied detachment for your Marine Army, and I think that's really what they're going for with with this because it lacks punching power from my perspective but maybe i'm wrong maybe people can run 900 militia and we'll see how that goes yeah well uh all right ogre and conscripts so a detachment with this provenance may select imperialist militia ogre and brute squads as troops choices with those selected as compulsory troops gaining the line unit subtype, all discipline masters, militia, medicaid, and force commanders, so as part of the detachment, may join militia ogre and brute squads, ignoring the usual restrictions for joining units with the monstrous unit subtype. Ogre is a monstrous. Okay. Uh, mm. I don't know how I feel about that yet. I had to think on it. Uh, industrial Stronghold. A detachment with this provenance may include up to two additional heavy support choices, but these must be filled with Imperialist Militia Lehman Russ units. In addition, all Imperialist Militia Lehman Russ units led for a detachment with this provenance gain the following option. An Imperialist Militia Lehman Russ may include up to five additional Militia Lehman Russ for plus 120 points each. This provenance cannot be taken in conjunction with the Unending Horde, Debased Rabble, Tainted Flesh, or Oven Conscripts Provenances. So there's another one that's pretty restrictive on what you can and cannot take with it to try and limit those combos, but obviously this seems to be the Dwarven, Dwarven style kind of thing, maybe. Mm -hmm. It works well with that since you can repair them. Unending Horde. A detachment of this provenance gains the Endless Horde 4 plus special rule to all models. Um, that would be one of those ones where you roll a four plus and it comes back on type thing, right? Yeah, that's. Did you did you read that? Oh, yes. Uh, no, I hadn't read it, but it's oh. right there. Yeah, Sorry, the I'm not reading paragraph. it off your screen. I'm reading on my own screen. No, no, you're right. right. You're right. I thought you. Were you what were you reading? Were you reading the fluff of it? Yeah, oh, just the first paragraph. Oh, some militia. Okay, yeah. Sorry that. Yeah, you were just reading the fluff. I've yeah. been reading the fluff. <laughs> I just had to scroll that tiny bit further oh, down. Okay, right. Yep. But yeah, I'm like, oh, Endless Horde would be, yeah, it'd be like the old tech thralls. You just roll a dice, back they come. Endless Horde From would be Macca's choice. Table, no right? one, no. Four plus is just so RNG, man. Yeah, well, it's got two paragraphs. I don't like paragraphs. RNG stuff. People yeah, should know that. It's too RNG. There's, like, it's... I don't like, I, if, if, I, if things go wrong, I want it to be my fault that they go wrong. Not, or, not or the just other the person dice. out playing yeah. me. Not just... Well, we've all had that game where your your dice are lit and the other person's are not. And how bad do you feel for the other person? Like I genuinely start like sacrificing my units to yeah, try and man, make it less sure. depressing for the other person. Yeah, and doing some weird um, weird stuff to try and get them to kill or whatever. Yeah, yeah, because it's, it's like you don't want them to have a shit game. But when you're watching them roll like you know ten armor saves and roll eight ones and just you know it's like it's. That kind of RNG just sucks. And things like Endless Horde, it has the potential to be so hit and miss 
like you go, oh, it's a 50-50 chance. But I remember how much people hated it with like, you know, bringing Melkador's back on with the general in, do you remember 1.0 for a while? That was like the solar auxilia would ha- um, take the old general and they would take uh, Melkador tanks could come back on on a four plus when they died. I think, oh, it might be the five plus, sorry. Um, when they died, all units in your army got to come back on on a five plus whenever they died. So people would get to bring on their super heavies, blow them up in the middle of the enemy army, and then bring them back on again. That was like the special character, the old general. That was what he did. So, yeah, he was cool. I liked him. Um, but yeah, RNG stuff, it's, yeah, it's so hit and miss. Like, a game has enough RNG in it when it comes to, like, saves and charges and reactions and all this other stuff. You don't want to be adding more where it's, like, every unit has a... a yeah. See, there you go. Someone in the comments. Um, Eraton Masade. 5 plus destroyed placed in reserves. Yep. All right. We're on to another unit. Um, Imperialist Militia Discipline Master Cadre. 20 points. Um... Okay, I'm sensing a theme here with the mounted option. At least they're including him in the same profile. It's not like the silly Legion is yeah, starting his book where 100%. they put it on another fucking page. And it's just the same thing except for movement. <laughs> and yeah, interesting stuff. So I, I think for them it was a case of, oh, let's just knock this book out faster. But for the players, it's like, yes, why didn't you do this with the Legion book? You could have, you know, if you condensed all those units into the same page you probably could have fitted all those legacies of the age of darkness pdf units into the actual book mm. uh, With the, well, irony. Gear, it's it's like a medic guy you obviously that's with the among the ranks thing so at the start of the game you dispatch them between units and stuff um and his special rule to instill order if a unit that includes a model with this special rule for fails a morale check a reroll may can be made if this is done. The unit suffers D three wounds at AP dash. These wounds are allocated by the unit's controlling player, but may not be inflicted on independent characters. The discipline master himself or militia <laughs> wish. <laughs> oh, I'd be taking these guys if they could, man. Or militia Medicaid. <laughs> who have joined the unit he just claps the officer himself and the (laughs) and gets reanimated and kills the medic that'd be great but uh the problem with this is obviously it's a you can re-roll a morale check and the morale is treyish at least he's leadership eight so you go for the highest leadership of the squad it's still bad especially when you're talking about modifiers fear is really going to affect these dudes it's i wish you could clap yourself there that'd be great uh moving on yeah that's the the gear is kind of weird a needle pistol there's, there's a recurring theme there i don't understand why are they supposed to be i don't know what that is, that's about but uh yeah very minimal kind stuff of a meme option isn't it yeah it's not like you can take there's no multi gun pistol there's no um there's a blast pistol wow so that that's just not great there and it's just a reroll, man i don't know if it's worth Better than a kick in the face. Well, you are going to get a kick in the face. Well, three of the troops are. D3 three, three, three of the troops are going to get a kick in the face. Uh, Imperial Militia, Rogue Psyker. Oh, this is your your turf. Look at that guy. Look at him go with his mm. weapon skill and ballistic skill too. What an awful, awful stat line. Leadership 7. Hey, you got a 50-50 chance of making a leadership check when you got it. Oh, that's spicy. Um... Main quit up to nine militia wardens. Um, so it's just him to start with, but he can take some hired goons. Mm-hmm. And the hired goons only get chainsaws or a shotgun. Um, Shotgun's good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wait. It, does it have the same thing as um, concussive, like the Legion ones? That's a good point. And we should have, we'll look through the weapons afterwards. But I, okay. I was imagining if, if it, that it did, but it could, it might not, right? Because it's if it does, fantastic. If it doesn't, yeah. So here's the rogue psyker rules. The rogue psyker gains. I'm just the... gonna quickly go and check that while you talk about the rules. Grab some crazy psychic discipline and may not it select does. It any. Has concussive. Of... Okay, that's good. Um, that's other really discipline good. power or psychic weapon may not select other disciplines. 
uh, powers or psychic weapons. This is so he's he's fairly trash. Fairly trash. He makes some sort of void, right? Oh no, he can make a he. So he has the void darts, which is the same as the mm, white scars, I believe. A little bit trash. Oh, assault twelve. Oh, this is better than a lot of the other weapons that they have. But he also gets breach the veil psychic power, which is basically create a warp gate for chaos demands. Which is good, I guess. Why wouldn't you just take allied librarians? But okay, that's that guy all in. In would would you really take okay. Legion? Would you take him though? Them and demons. I don't know if you would. Good theme, but man, you're gonna be trounced. Imperial Militia Command, Kadre, Kadra, Kadra. You get your... I don't know, I just, I actually, just thinking about it, I really like it. I think especially if you team up with, like, demon allies and you, like, bring in the demons and just summon him into the battlefield with his breaching the veil. It's, it's kind of cool. Yeah, it's like, cool. You can I, summon I... some actually useful allies, which are a lot stronger than you are. Like, they're not great, but, like, brutes are definitely better than... I'm just skill. Scorpius is three just tough three. really gonna kill the crap out of him, but okay. Yeah, well, what don't they kill the crap out of? Yeah, anything. But then, yeah, there's a lot of <laughs> there's not a lot of other indirect fire. So even if you have him behind a wall, like that stops a lot of stuff shooting you. But you've got Scorpiuses and yeah, I, I'm actually really liking this units. book so far. I'm really liking this so far. The militia, it's like it's very, command, it's very fluffy. Project. Um, and a human's movement is six, by the way, so that's that's a thing. Uh, so this is the command cadre. They suck compared to the other times because you can't take special weapons. You can take one one militia bodyguard in the squad, may exchange their las gun for one of the following. Heavy stub of grenade launcher, long las, a sniper rifle, flame and melted gun, plasma gun. So one dude. You used to remember how they used to have... Why can't it be all of them? They're crappy... They're crappy ballistic skill and weapon skill three. Just let them take some melter guns, or let them take. Well, are you really taking any towers? Even plasma guns, I guess. Plasma guns are weird. Twelve points. Um, they can take carapace armor for twenty points. Same again. That's for the whole squad. So you'd be as well up your fifteen body squad to get the. You know what? Best points I later. almost would be tempted to say, don't bother, because there is so much AP four this edition. Well, there's more AP4 weapons, I think I counted, than AP5 weapons this edition of the game. You're probably not going to get a save. So that's is brutal. it worth taking Carapace? Um, mm, because think about it, like anything that's stronger than a heavy bolter, you won't even get a feel no pain save. Because uh, how many assault cannons are out there? Auto cannons are everywhere. Volkart culverins are everywhere. Like every vehicle can take them as No, normal bolters, you're not getting, you're getting a save against. That's and, true, but and it's the theme as well. Basic the tactical theme. marines. The theme as well. Like I'm seeing tons of assault marines. I'm not. I'm I'm seeing people that use assault assault marines. They go back to tactical squads, ten man tactical squads, real fast. Really? Running running is four. And That's amazing. You can yeah. So you move. It's part of running is now part of your movement. So you're moving your seven mm -hmm. plus your four. So that's you know that you're gonna what your distance is. So you, if you're coming on from reserve or where you are to take an objective. For assault marines, they don't get the Vexilla. They jump, yeah, that's, but they are expensive jumpy boys. So but that's just what I've seen. Maybe obviously it's different, but yeah, they don't get a lot of stuff in this. But the cool thing is you get a household retinue. So your, um, force commander can take this unit. As a bodyguard unit, I suppose, uh, and they get stuck to him. They have to be part of him, and they don't take up a force org chart slot. So, just bodies. I don't know what advantage it really gives them. If anyone could, like, you can attach him to other stuff. So I don't understand what the the deal is. I'm trying to look, they get a malicious standard. 
that with militia in the front of that, it doesn't sound great. Oh, and the, you can, these are the first guys that you can start taking bolt guns with, right? But that... Again, I ask the question, is that worth it? A bolt gun? Yes, I would say so. No, because they got shotguns as an option for free. Yeah, but a bolt gun... Concussive, like, you're evening the odds a shitload with, like, with concussive. You can make like... those distances, man, and just, just a lot of shooting, and you got to make that 12. 12 to 24 is a lot different. And you can, I'm just gonna you throw can... it out there. I'm gonna throw it out there, Kat. If this squad is gonna be attached to your force commander, so if he's an initiative five and paragon blade and only open skill four, if you've got concussive weapons, he's suddenly a big threat to enemy marines and things like that. If that is the way one wanted to head, I think that would be the ideal use for them. Yeah. Well, I I I don't face. play a shooting army in two point oh. I play uh, you know, thirty freaking rampages, and I don't. I I would shoot at them with my pistols. I don't give a shit. That's how much I don't care about this unit. And I go, oh, there you go. You can have that one for free too. They do not scare <laughs> me at all, at all. And that's when that's obviously my hubris, and that's why I lose games. But um, I like the idea of just having lines of bolt guns. It's pretty funny. Uh, it's just long lads as well. You can take one. They should have every second dude should have been able to take a grenade launchers as well. Maybe just split it. Only elder guns. Maybe give them all flamers or something. That'd be cool. Having and a flamer. It's so squad. odd when you can take fifteen additional bodyguards, but only one guy in the whole squad can have. It is weird, isn't that it? Seems like, one in five. That seems like it should be FAQ'd. I'd say it should be one per five. Yeah. Yeah, yeah at the minimum. At the, the minimum, money. right? So. Oh, well, it's actually. It used to be one per. Th per three or four remembering like um grenadier squads in like 40k and stuff like veteran squads you could take three plasma guns in a 10-man yeah. squad it should be like that because you're not gonna break the game by letting these guys take four or five melter guns in a fucking 20-man squad are you like come on they, they breathe on come them the wrong on, way man. they're gonna die you could probably take a flamer come on jack you have against salamanders none of this army's making it to turn two you go up against Marines, this isn't making it to get into. Unless you have some of the provenances, which we'll go into soon enough. Oh, did we go over the fact that you can take three dudes per squad or whatever? Or did I make that up? I don't know. I was pretty tired last night. Anyway. Uh, no, you can take multiple of these with oh. your force commanders, but... Mm. No, yeah, but I mean, like, in general... They're going to FAQ that stuff. force commander will be made zero to one, surely. Yeah, but he, that, you, well, you, it won't matter. It's the same as a Praetor, right? You can take multiple Praetors, but you only get, only one is a Warlord, and you can only have two Provenances. Well, well you can only take multiple per thousand. I think it's one per couple thousand points or something. Yeah, it's a Praetor, but a, a, a 3, point, in a 3,000 point army, you can still have three Praetors. Yeah, so it's the same thing, just at a lower lower level, because they're basic humans. Um, I guess. Which is really weird because do they do the others get the provenance, like, at all? Doesn't mean they can't get the special gear. You can't give him the uh, only one would have. Well, they're still in the detachment, right? So they would benefit from it. Uh, maybe. Yeah, There's I all guess. In this yeah, detachment. so they they get the initiative. Could Except you get where the it specifies blade? otherwise. Yeah, so you could give them all. You could have three with. Paragon Blades and Make them into five. a super squad. It's like three, three dudes, like a That's Sailor Moon team worst, up. Worst freaking Death Star ever. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> the most expensive, lowest reward Death I'm, Star. Okay, that's what I want to do. That's exactly what I want to do. Joined by a rogue psycho. Make Power Ranger. Oh, could you? No, because you'd be taking up three your of your... Power Provenances. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh... Imperialist Militia Infantry Squad. 80 points gets you 20 men. So cheap, cheap, cheap. Uh, special rules, strength in numbers. When you compose entire mods the special rules, so there's troops, then up to three may be selected to fill that troop slot instead of only one. Oh, there it is. So you could get 60 of them for 240 points without upgrades. At five points per unit, I'm taking shotguns. Just these cost shotgun points. Better now, Sh shotguns cost no points on these guys. Five, Five points. points per unit. It's nothing. Oh, per unit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm taking shotguns. Is it worth that they have, they have an auto rifle? Yes. Rifle. What's wrong with that? 
You want your anti auto rifle? No. Cussive is amazing. Yeah, so are flaming. Okay, you use concussive weapons, right? Concussive makes Marines your weapon skill. So instead of you needing fives to hit them and them hitting you on threes, it's perfectly even now. They hit you on fours, you hit them on fours. Okay. Yeah, they wound you a little but... easier, but it dramatically lowers the odds. Okay, but your leadership to six. your numbers to actually get some kills in combat. Your leadership six. You've got a five plus armor save, which a bolt gun is ripping through. So not in close combat, it's not. You got to get there. So unless you're in these drills that are freaking get a penetrating hit, you're gonna have a bunch of shotgun guys in drills. Can drills even take twenty dudes? I don't know. For the for the, for the cost of twenty space marines, though, you're firing. Uh, you're you're for the cost of twenty space marines, you're bringing uh sixty militia. And you're going to be firing at them with 120 shotgun shots. Uh, That's a well, lot of shots. You're going to cause... Yeah, you're going to... Look, you're going to get uh, 60 hits. You're going to get 30 wounds. You're going to kill 10 of those Marines. Yeah, but you're probably, not going to... That's eight. if the opponent and, decides and not to shoot at you the entire game and you've managed to get them deep striking them in or some weird, weird thing. 240 points, you can get so many of these units. Yeah, absolutely. And, that's, and I think that's how it is for working. For 1,000 points, you, because... can, you get 12 of these units for 1,000 yeah. points. So at a movement 6, you're running at 3, so you're only going 9 per turn. But like because it's 3 per troop's choice, I think the strength with this army, which sucks, because that's a lot of things to put on the table. I think You're the strength range, is turn two. where you can, the opponent just can't kill enough. Like some armies are just not going to be able to kill. They won't have the numerical. Volkai Culverin to still be able to shoot in killing and assault militia. enough militia dudes. Volkai Culverin squads will annihilate you, as will Salamanders. Salamanders will have no problems dealing with this. Well. A Contempt of Dreadnought won't have a problem dealing with it either because they're not hurting it. But never wait. Uh, pro... Pro... Sir John. Pro... Professor... Sir Lou John again. Right. There we go. Hello. Thank you for your... Super chat. Uh, I... Uh, a user on 4chan calculated that for 1,900 points, you can have 800 levies and a force commander with provenances are equal to 1,500 men or 800 druggies and Florida men. Okay. Yes, the 900 men meta is we're not at that squad yet, I don't think. No, that's the thing, because you've got to take the 50-man squad, right? A lot um, of, a lot of events funny. also have a cap, like a hard cap on how many bodies you can bring because it just becomes too much of a cost. Oh, I've never seen to. that. I've never seen a hard cap on... Ties. Every one of Ties did. Oh, um, that's, Calcon that's did. Long, that's long gone. Um, Calcon, Calcon was did. a 40k. Calcon did. Yes, but that was because that's competitive trash and people would deliberately run out the clock if they have the... Yeah, that, that's a different beast in itself. If some someone wants to do that in a heresy event, freaking more power to them. When are other when are people ever going to be able to play against eight hundred or nine hundred dudes? They're not. They would give that a go. That's great. You know who? What you wouldn't want to fight against? Eight hundred freaking contempt of dreadnoughts. That's what I don't want to be playing against. Bring on the militia. I say go for it. That's awesome. If you want to paint 800 dudes, even if you're just undercoating them and dipping them, that's still like a good portion Did of you your life. Did you imagine those guys we played at Icon playing this? Like it took them fucking 45 minutes to set up 18 guardsmen. Like, my God. We'd be there on day two waiting for them to finish deployment. All right, so we have the Leve squad or Levy. If oh, you want oh, to talk oh, like in, in the in militia, sorry. They've also got the one model may take an upgraded weapon. Yeah, like, what the hell? What a fucking of... dick tease. Like, yeah, that has got to be FAQ. That is just untenably bad. It's pretty bad. Like, do either give them multiple weapons or don't give them any at all because that is such a Hail Mary. It's stupid. Yeah, well, it's the only thing they get, unfortunately. So, Imperial Militia, Levee, 
Levy squad. 40 points. Lever. Um all right, yep, the levy are definitely shitter than the these children. Oh, it's weapon skill, ballistic you know skill three. I thought it was this strength and toughness too. Whew. Back the shotgun guys up with these guys. So you've got the shotguns in there to cause some some concussion and then throw these guys in fucking a hundred at a time into Marines. You're, and you're losing that. You're you you're losing this. You you're losing. Nah, man, it'll be fine. What could go wrong? You can take close combat weapons and stuff for free. These dudes can't take... You can take 30 additional levies, and I think this is where the 600, 800, 900 lists are coming from. And if, the bayonet, anything, if the bayonet is like the Marines' bayonets are, right? So in, in it'll be a... Um, I mean, you could... How many, be like plus one strength, right? Levy? Militia, yeah, the, the infantry strength, squad is just be, better, right? Like, but we two-handed because it's on like a rifle. So that would mean that if you charge with fifty of them, right? Even without prominence buffs, just fifty of these dudes charging is a hundred points, and you're going to get two hundred attacks that hit on fours, wound on fours against marines. You're winning the fight. You will actually win the fight. Like you're not going to beat weapon skill five guys, although you could hurt them a lot. But you can win the fight against a marine squad if you've concussed them first with militia levies for sure. Hmm. Good luck trying to use them <laughs> feral militia levies with chain axes. Brutal. Bit of a this bit of a stretch. Strength and numbers. They've got the strength in numbers and expendable, right? So they don't count as a, a casualty. I mean, with, if you took the Providence against possible leadership, you get them to leadership seven, they're on par with the Marines then. So it's not that bad. Mm, they're not, though, because if they lose 50%, then they just run the hell away and never regroup and die. No, no, because they're expendable. They just vanish anyway if they fail a leadership, so it doesn't matter. Get them a Vexilia. They'll be fine. Trust me, I'm a scientist. Um... Yeah, their vexilia is only giving them plus one to combat resolution. Yeah, that's right. It'll help. Trust me. Um, Imperial Arts Militia Grenadier Squad, seventy-five points for guardsmen. Well, militiamen. Militia. Carapace armor. Carapace armor. Ten-man squad. Um. Two grenadiers may swap to a better weapon. Your guardsman. Mm -hmm. yeah, if you take that provenance that gets you take Volkite Culverin, you can put two Volkite Culverins in them and troops choice. At five points. It's fine. It's good. I like it. Yeah, I do like this one. Uh, I like... Support squad, though. You can take support guns. Support squad, not line. Are they... Oh, no, they are line. They're a support squad and line. That's cool. Yeah, so you can... It was that providence that gets rid of them. So, oh, no, get rid of them, but makes them core troops. And, yeah, so you could run these, I think. this is That's what I'd use, and I'd use these dudes as ball gun dudes, right? Just because they have ball guns. They have the capability to have ball guns, and then that's the shooting that my world eaters aren't doing. Yeah, you could do that. So, yeah. Uh, cool. Cool. To represent the right. board. board right. In fact, if, if anything, the price is a, a little bit too high. Because you're only what, 25 points cheaper than Marine Squad and you've lost one on every stat, which is rough. Mm, but Marine Squad's 100 to 10. Yeah, but you've got worse armor, worse weapons. You've got to upgrade to get to the Marine's weapons. And by the time you do that, you, you know... I don't know. They're not. They're not terrible. They're probably only like five or ten points too much. That they're they're in the zone. They are definitely playable. I'm, I'm liking it. Uh, all right, militia fire support squad. Sixty points. You get a two wound fire team by three. Okay, and you can take up to seven additional fire teams. Really good. Okay, so you can go up to we'll ten. To in place in a minute. 
may only make return fire or overwatch core reactions or no other reaction. If forced fall back for any reason, they're all removed as casualties. Oh, that's fine. They're what? Cheap. They just yeah, remove. Well, yeah, remove straight fine. remove. What's, what's if your army works that way? If if these guys get hit, what are they going to get hit by? They're probably they're going to be on big bases, right? Is a pinning big check big or a morale check? No, it's a pinning check. All right, they're then. different things. All right, so um, fear they, is going to be they a big issue. They're going to get hit then. by something like they're going to get hit by something like a basilisk. Uh, not a basilisk, sorry, a scorpius. They're fucked regardless. Like they're not surviving that. You know, imagine if you buy wounds, double out their toughness. You have just... ten mortarmen or whatever. Wait, can you take the mortar still? Yeah, you can. Take ten mortarmen or whatever. Really though, and they're only weapon skill three. I don't know. I don't know what the stats on the mortar are. I haven't read any weapon no, profiles yet. No, pretty bare, but you can. Still, I, it's funny. It's cheap. Multi lasers. Uh, you know what? Auto cannons really good. Las cannons is fantastic, but fifteen points each is really steep. If you took the plus one ballistic skill right of war, I oh, sorry, provenance, um, mm, these could be a real threat. Can you give it to as everyone is? They're imperialist militia. Or your elite, was it? No. It was. Legacy. Okay, yeah. Imperial militia, guardian squads, imperialist militia, command, cardiares, discipline masters, and detachments. With this provenance, increase their ballistic skill plus one. Discipline masters. Yeah, so I don't think the support uh, dudes are getting it. Not on this one, anyway. Oh, well, that's a shame. That's a shame. Yeah. Oh, you give them, give them some other things. Like, you give them plus one toughness. That'll give make them, it all Give them chain axes, bro. You yeah, could. Give them Elchem. Give them some friend zone. <laughs> just will get high while you're on the line, dude. Easy. <laughs> yeah, they're just like real mortar teams that I've met in the infantry. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, uh, I, I think that's an in-place thing is trash. So you could effectively you know, put... In-place is fine. I mean, it's probably a little bit too strong with the fallback thing, but the, forcing you to only use those reactions is fine. Um. Coming with the heavy stubbers stock, stupid. Just give them something better stock, because what's the point? Like, stubbers suck. They're just a shitty bolter. Um, I just want to quickly look at mortar. 36-inch range, strength 4, AP 5, heavy 1, blast 3 inches, barrage pinning. That's good. You can mm. get a lot of pinning. You can get a lot of pinning with just one mortar team. You can, but imagine if you took, oh, I don't know, four of these. No, you could take a max of, if you're taking this as a primary detachment. You can have a maximum of, what, six of these ones? You can have 60 mortars. Imagine waiting for someone to roll 60 freaking mortars. These are support squad. So you yes, yes, I'm, I'm saying you got to take at least two troop choices, right? In a force organization yeah, shot. Yes, so you'd be able to take so 40 another. of them. This is, it's 40 eight, mortars. It's, it's eight troops now, though, in a force org. Oh, yeah, yes, eight, of course. Not six. Sorry, my bad. Um, yeah, shit, 60. I don't know why. And, and if you took <laughs> and if you took militia levies and that for the other two, you could still have six big squads of infantry on the table and just fire a bajillion pinning shots every turn. That's pretty funny. It's a good meme. I like that. At mm. least they're cheap enough with mortars. Like, what's ten of them with mortars? Sorry, ten teams with mortars is going to be what two hundred fifty points. It's not terrible. It's not cheap either, but... It's pretty funny when you're talking about spam, but you don't have a... Oh, you think about that, right? That is the same price that you're going to pay for a Legion Basilisk, which gets a single large blast pinning. Yeah, okay, but if we start turning around Basilisks, anything really is better than that. But if you look at, say, a supplemental force for me, especially for my World Eaters, where they currently sitting at where I'm paying a lot of points for my meme squads of rampages, 355 points for 10. I've got three of them. It leaves very little room for crappy units with ballistic skill three in there. It still three doesn't mean anything when you're using mortars. 
Yeah, but just I need to wreck fire weapons. If you took an ally detachment, you took like a levy squad and a squad of these guys, cost you nothing, and it adds. It does. It adds. It adds up though, because you've got your it's hundred points for your. Well, okay, you, you don't. You don't you need in points. in an allied detachment. Fair enough. You really don't need the force commander. You don't have to take the force commander. You don't need to take the providences. You do need the HQ. For, for, you see, it'd be you cheaper. Take Thirty levies. You could take thirty militia levies. You could have the HQ. Uh, the HQ sure, tax. What's the what's the cheapest card HQ? Lieutenant Cadre. Is he? Is it forty-five compared to what's the psycho? Fifty. Yeah. Come on. You take, take a, a cadre. Take militia levy squad of thirty guys for hundred points. Can't take do. these guys. You're laughing. And in fact, if you took the shotgun boys, you could use those to. Fuck around and find out, squads. Perhaps I could. <laughs> Perhaps I will. I don't know. I just think it's fun. Yeah, it uh, is definitely right. fun, but I just think that it's... it's you're going to get thing. trounce. You're going to get trounce a lot. No, it is, definitely. I've got a militia. I am in the militia club, but I think I'd rather use Solar Rock, honestly. Mm, I'm liking this list a lot more than Solar Rock so far. <laughs> Um, but again, different strengths, different folks. Like I've got a different purpose in mind to you. I like the recon squads and I wish there was a recon right of war you could take. Uh, so you got 50 points for five recon dudes. Dominance. Yeah. They're, and so unfortunate you can't because these guys, uh, so you can have, I think they come with shoddies. They come with shoddy stock, a lot of points, but they, they have a scout. They have infiltrate. Um, they have the capability to take long laz or sniper rifle for 10 points per model. Fairly steep, but it's very cheap. I just want to point out, rifles. the basic squad costs twice as much as the additional members of the squad. I've never seen that in the game. A unit that has that big a stock troops choice tax. Yeah, it's pretty taxy. So, like, that's... You get so, your first guys cost... Your first five guys cost 10 points each. Your second five guys cost five points each. Like in, in Marines, it's like, oh, your first five guys cost 12 points each. The next five guys cost 10 points each. This is, that's huge price jump. I just, sorry, that shit sticks out to me. Mm. Um, you can take Lazar's correction. You can take sniper rifles, which are the same stats as a Mimesis, except it has one less standard AP than a Mimesis Bolter. Obviously, because Mimus's Bolter is a Bolter, I suppose. No. <laughs> it's really weird. So why, again, the 72 freaking inches? Are they 72 inches. inch range? Yes. The Long Laz, I think, is only 48. The fuck? <laughs> the Long Laz is really different, but I think it's got, um, it's got some other, I can't, you'd have to bring it up, whatever the, uh, whatever the Long Laz is, it's got something specific. And I, I think it's got Sunder. I think that's what the Long Laz has. It's really weird. It's a weird, mm. weird weapon. But yeah, don't yeah, quote me on that. Yeah, you probably just could take sniper rifles. It'd be silly not to take a bunch of Mimesis, right? Yeah, because so you've got Militia the Mimesis. scout rule. Correction. Yeah, is it scout? Infiltrate I think that gives you plus cover. one to... Yeah, they got the light rule. Strength six under. Is, that's what Long has, has, which what is, is pretty cool. What is the light rule? It's not skirmish. Skirmish is the unit coherency. What's the light rule? Light do? is unit coherency, and it also gives you plus one to cover, I do believe. So the long laz is strength oh. six sunder. So I think that, that gives you a lot of um, modeling capability to have, like, use them as anti-tank rifles as well as have sniper rifles. Can you mix and match these things? The model may exchange their comic for a laz kind of bind. Or a different carbine, sniper rifle, or long laz. Yeah, it seems like you can mix and match. That's pretty funny that you can like take a long laz and just say it's an anti-material rifle or something. But then again, yeah, I love that they're like, oh, you have to model models correctly with this stuff. We don't know what a long laz looks like or what a <laughs> mimesis looks like. Or... Well, it's not mimesis; so... it's a sniper rifle, Mecca. All right, Let's yeah, calm yeah, down. yeah, of course. And what does it look like? <laughs> sniper rifle. No, um... Yeah, it's fine. It's very expensive, though, for the first five. Like, it's asking you to take them in big squads, and you're going to want to take them in big squads because it's you, it's got to be the best weapon in the list, right? Yeah. Well, Surely. no, Longlands has its 
points. Like you can be smacking rhinos with the long lands. Okay, well, maybe something else is coming up. Uh, elites. Oh, so we did truces for elites. I only just sort of realized. Um, yeah, I like. Uh, I don't think I like that. It's how they used to format it, right? Mm. And now, now they're gone. No, the other no elites has always been core troops. It was always in in. Mm, core they changed it somewhere. Chart. All right, Imperialist militia Medicaid attachment forty points gets you three medics up to nine additional Medicaid for twelve points each. They're so cheap, you may as well take them, I guess, but no upgrade weapons to them, so you just less pistol and basic close combat weaponing. Uh, they got crappy armor, but they give you an awful feel no pain that does not stack yeah, with other not, feel no not pain. Not worth. Very not worth. Is there I another thing? They're, they're so cheap. It may be worth it just because they're so cheap, just to throw one in every single squad for just on the off chance you don't get hit by strength six. Okay. Uh, Imperial Militia Ugrin Brute Squad. Now pay a close attention to these stats. Um, weapon skill, four. Pretty good. Strength and toughness, five. No really surprise there. Oh, Wounds, right. three, yeah. Initiative, two. Weird. Attacks four and five. A little bit different. Leadership six seven. I'm I'm just noticing the fact that they are monstrous in the unit type. Mm. Brutes, demon brutes are not monstrous, and they're they're, they're on fifty mil bases. Were Charonite Ogrins monstrous? I can't remember. Cannot recall. Bulky 4, Hammer of Wrath 2. They are stubborn, which works well. So the you can take an additional 7 uh, yeah. for 30 points each. They start up the same as the weapon squads. Uh, the Ogre and uh, the Imperial Militia Ogre and Brute Squad may include at least 5 Brutes. A single Ogre and Brute may be upgraded to an Ogre and Boss. So you don't start with the Ogren Bros, you've just got the three brutes in there. The Ogren Bros cost 15, which he gets leadership 7, an extra attack. And yeah, which is kind of worth it, considering the Ogren Bros may take when any of the following power weapon or a th for 15 points, or a thunder hammer for 20 points. That's uh, yeah, it's probably five, worth the thunder hammer. five attack thunder hammer attacks. It's pretty good. Because you're, mon you're monstrous, so that'd be what? You strike an initiative. Yep, initiative 2 thunder hammer. That's where the strength is. That's where the strength is. The entire um, the entire unit may take black armor, twenty five points, and additional. Any model, unlike every other unit, may take one of the following: uh, additional close combat weapon, ripper gun. Any model in the unit may take one of the following. Not any of the following. Right. So ripper gun, thunder stub, boarding shield. Or close combat weapon. I wish the you could give them all heavy would bolters. Mean that you don't get additional attacks. <clears throat> I knew they were gonna be armed like the silly plastic kits were because I was joking about yeah. it with Darcy the other night, um, which is obviously why they can take the weapons they can take. The boarding shield on these is actually an interesting choice because they give you the heavy type. Uh, hmm. So you'd have a 4 plus three rollable against blasts and templates at toughness 5. And you would get an invol save from the boarding shield. So you get a 5 up. It's not going to cost you any attacks with any of your weapons because you only have one weapon um, unless you paid the same points as the boarding shield for a second one. You're probably going to take the shield. It's it's just it gives you so much more survivability. You're mm. always going to get a save now. You can take ripper guns. It's a lot if you of took, shots. If you took with ripper guns, though, if you took the provenance that too. lets you put, if you took the provenance that lets you get feel no pain on these boys by putting medics and shit in there, 
four plus save, re-rollable against blast and templates with a five plus invulnerable save. With a Wait, where are you getting five plus invulnerable? Top. Sorry, what, what, what? From boarding shield. Oh, right. And then, yeah, I don't know if the medic can go to Ogren squads though. Yeah, he can if you take the the right provenance. Okay, sweet. There you go. I like the idea so, of ripping guns. And then if you, and then if you give him um, a, a chain axe to take the other provenance, that gives him a chain axe. The ripper and, gun and should a have <laughs> a bayonet on it, right? It would, well, that would be two-handed, and so you and you, you can you wouldn't be able to take boarding shield, and it would give you plus one strength. So you're only getting strength six. You wouldn't get mm, um, fair enough. I don't know what the thunder stub does. I guess we'll look that up at the end of the thing. Yeah, it might another, be really good. Another gun. Yeah, maybe maybe it's a blast template or something. Instead, but I I don't know if I'd be taking these dudes as shooting. Obviously, you'd want to have them. You can mix and match, though, right? A, any model in the unit may take one of the following. Oh. So you can mix and match as much as you like. So yeah. you take, you can have a couple of whatever the what you want. You just have a mixed bag. I like shields, though, anyway. Like, I will always gravitate towards them because they're such a cool way to add extra color and stuff into the army. You know, put decals on them. Oh, shield whore. Um, all right. Imperialist Militia Field Gun Battery. 45 points for a field gun. Mm-hmm. And mm -hmm. it's... That's the new plastic kit. Yeah. <laughs> Calio Calliope Mortar. That's the Calliope Mortar cat. They could have picked Noble Werfer, but they picked Calliope, which is a rocket launcher, not a fucking mortar. Yeah, Neither is the Noble Werfer, but still, the Noble Werfer is what this thing looks like. It's like two crappy Noble Werfers mounted side by side. So the Calliope um, Mortars, uh, 48 inches, strength 5, AP 5, heavy 1, blast 5 inch, pinning, barrage, shell shock 1. So it's not yeah, great. Yeah, it sucks. That sucks. Uh, no, nah, no, I'd rather take the Mortar teams. It's cheaper. Cheaper mm. and more chance of hitting things and causing wounds. It's better. Uh, and it's this is in place as well, which is not great. No, nah, so the mortars. Uh, heavy glass cannon, heavy glass cannon. Is that like on the Derradeo? So strength ten, thunder. Uh, I believe so. Let's have a look. Um, but yeah, the mortars are in place too, Maka. So don't forget that. Yes, I did. I did notice that. Yep, strength 10, but it's AP2, not 1. Whereas the... No, the Dorito one isn't AP1, is it? I don't think it is. Heavy oh, 1, I don't Sunder. think it's AP1. It's... it's uh, so, so... Heavy 1 is not great. It's definitely better on Derrideo. Mm. Why is a field gun only toughness 4? I think it used to be toughness 7 for, like, you know, Basilisk batteries and stuff last edition. These things have like a massive gun shield and they're like 100 mil bases these things are on in 40k. Yeah, it's very bizarre. Seems like a bit of a cop out. It does. Um, and only plus a save. Okay, a so what's the stuff? Thunder Blast cannon then? Like, let me have a look. Thunder Blast cannon is... I, I, I want to do all the weapons at the end, but you kind of got to know to judge these units, don't you, as you go? Range, 72 inches, strength 7, AP 4, heavy 1, blast 3 inch, barrage and pinang. That's okay, but if it was a larger blast, maybe. You know what? I'm going to say that's not too bad. It's... It's AP4 with no... If it had rending 6+, plus, if it had anything, anything at all. But it's, it's only strength, strength 7. Strength 7, though, it can actually... It can, it's got more chance of wounding than the, the, the Calliope Mortar with its... And it's got a lot better range, so you might be able to stay out of range of things like the Scorpius. Because 72 inches, you far outrange the Scorpius. Uh, and it means that if you are in the open where you deploy, not much is going to be able to react to you because your range is so great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's it's probably the most useful of these three, but I 
it's 45 points for one, 40 points per additional. No. No, this is like a 20-point unit. And it's elite as well if it's heavy, maybe. I don't, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, that's it's rough. <laughs> the Arvis Transport, 40 points. Price is right. It's got no weapon, movement 20. It's a flying vehicle flyer. It's got third line, so it's open topped essentially. Uh, transport of 12 men. If you could, it's got deep strike as well, but you don't have any special weapons. If I could put five, even five melter gun dudes in this thing and have them jump out and and just a whole bunch of guys with special yeah. weapons, melters, what would, what would and plasma and stuff, like, that'd be sick, but you like can't do grenadiers that. Grenadiers with two melter guns would probably be about the best you could do. Yeah. You can't even do like the old demo charge out the back meta. Remember that? Yeah, that was sick. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's got smoke it's... launchers for some reason. Okay. How Weird. does that work? I don't know. <laughs> they're like like fires, and they just fly straight through them. So there's uh, just like a puff of smoke left behind it. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, Imperial Militia Cargo Eight Hauler Squadron, another new plastic kit, but this time from Necromunda. What a weird thing to put. Movement 10, 12, 11, 10, three hull points, transport capacity 22. The only thing it's got going for it is the transport capacity, but good luck ever getting it to third win. line, and it's armor 12. Is it third oh. line? When, oh, it is third line as well. Ooh, yikes. Yikes, and it's only got uh, three hull points. I mean, this points. makes more sense to be third line than a fucking land radar, but... <laughs> Um, but it's also slow. It's not. They should have made it fast or something. Like, it's, it's making up for it with transport capacity because you could put a full twenty man squad of shotgun this, boys. This in thing's this gonna blow up and, and one, kill one a shotgun. lot of your guys. That's fine. They're there to die. Come Jesus. on, where's, where's your fighting spirit? Yes, Katana, come on, over the top. <laughs> Uh, Give them a taste it, it does have armored, armored container, a model with this upgrade, must reduce the transport capacity to 12 and gain the infantry transport special rule, but increase its side armor and rear by plus one up to the maximum of 12. Additionally, a model with this upgrade may take up to two additional pintle mounted heavy stubbers. Uh, these weapons may not be further upgraded. Oh. Yes, Good. get out of here. Yes. Good. And for 10 point, eh, I'm contained, it's not that bad actually, but still, I wouldn't below. Ah, it's just 50 walk. points, it's fine. It's, it's 50 points, it's not bad. Like, if you want to move a shotgun squad up fast and do some concussive shenanigans, that's yeah, fun. Fun. Yeah. Fine. That's one access point at the rear. Darcy says he just got home if we, we want to bring him on. I don't know, after Darcy's performance tonight. <laughs> Oh yeah, he he cheated in a game before he can get here <laughs> and defend himself. He cheated in a game. He took, I heard, he took at least three thousand points more in a fifteen hundred point game, and was like, "Oh, whoopsie, that's what I hear." It's a new player. Oh no, against the Salamanders. It was Foda as well. It was Foda. That's, he that's who the played Foda? Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're Imperial making Fist stuff Foda. up. We're making stuff up. Okay, okay right, my bad. <laughs> yeah, Darcy, he's played Imperial Fist. We're just, just going to run his rep into the ground. This yeah, is how we treat all our friends at the Outer Circle. Yeah, he's not Um, <laughs> he's not doing Emperor's Children, I heard. He's just doing the undercoat of um, Apple, so he, the yellow can go on, and then you can shade the yellow. That's what I've heard. Uh, right. Imperialist Militia Cavalry Squad, 50 points. Um, movement 14, Garden Stat Lines. Hammer of Wrath 1. Ooh, look out. Um, a Militia Lance. Okay, I'm going to guess that kind of makes them useful on the charge. But they get shotguns as well. Come on, shotguns. Um, one model, again, can take a special weapon. Just don't even offer it. One is just such an insulting number. Like, you have a 50-50 chance of your fucking melter gun from actually working. In fact, you've got a you got more of a chance of your plasma gun melting your guy than your plasma gun killing a guy. 
<laughs> like, <laughs> it's going to get hot at an AP you can't save against. And the Marine who you shoot is going to get to save half the time on his normal armor save. <laughs> do not take a plasma gun. You do not take a plasma gun with militia. This is not 5th edition guard. You cannot take a plasma gun. The um, Northern Lands yeah, is fine. strength 8, AP 3, melee... Sudden strike. No, I, I, I know I can't read, but good. what the hell? Ungainly. Uh, ungainly, which is uh, you don't get a bonus for charging. Kind of like the White Scars uh, okay. um, Contos Power Lance. Lance. So Sudden you're trading strike. it all in for what's in this box. And Sudden it's Strike 2 is huge. That's pretty good. If you get it, penetrating it hit, you get all cool. But you know what? If you hit. want to actually... If you want this unit to actually work, though, you have to take the provenance that gives you plus some weapon skill. Like, you have to double down on it. Because yeah. if you have weapon skill three, stiff shit. <laughs> like, One use, two-handed. Uh, it doesn't have... Oh, it has lance. You, that's... You're going to have ten... And, in fact, if you've got five of these guys, that's five attacks on the charge. That's maybe two hits against the basic marine squad. Like, you know, double double down on it if, you, if you're going to do it. Take the plus one weapon skill. For the love of God, if you can get plus one weapon skill on them, you're going to need it. Or, or have another squad nearby with shotguns to try and even the odds a little bit. Or Preferably would you... shotguns and plus one weapon skill. I was just about to say, you can double down on your shotgun, matter. Have, yeah. have, have your shotgun levies with your shotgun infantrymen Followed up by your shotgun horsemen. I don't like what. I don't know. Use shotguns on the marines to concuss them down a weapon skill point, and have plus on weapon skill on the charge. So you're fighting a weapon skill four. They're fighting weapon skill three. The marines only hit you then on fives, and you hit them on threes. Your shotgun can't save you any more than it can save me. Fifty points for five dudes. This is again a little little. Well, it's, I was going to say Another it's a little 10. steep, but it's designed so that if you take them in hordes of them, it's not going to be too over the top. That's all. Mm. They will die to bolt guns, so you, that carapace armor is pretty much mandatory. You can take that provenance that makes them troops, though, right? Well, you can get four times as many militia levies, as, or sorry, or militia um, like basic boys. Yeah, but at least you're going to get range. into shotgun range with 14-inch movement as opposed to freaking Yes, six. that's true, but then like it defeats the purpose of, you don't want to use these guys to charge with shotguns, though. Like You want to use these guys to charge with their lances against someone who has been previously shotgunned. Mm. Ideally. Alright, I'm going to let Darcy in here and so he can defend his Taking 6,000 points over the 20,000 point limit. Where's his Message avatar? Him. Told him how he's coming in. I did. And oh, cool. although not 100%, I'll just, and I he's probably, he's probably watching the show as well. Should have gone with that profile picture. Should have that profile picture of the, um, of the milk carton with the missing, you know, missing person on it. Jesus. Well, nevertheless, he's not going to be able to hear this because there's obviously a delay, but uh, Darcy, prepare for teleport. That's what Tim says. So long, Darcy. <laughs> Take that. Oh, hey, how's it going, guys? Hello. We're good. How I've are you, just... Cheetah Cheetah Pumpkin Eater? Yeah, how's yeah, the cheating? Uh, okay, so, look, it was an accident, but it was totally my fault. Um... When we were talking about the game, it's like, oh, do you want to, like, how many points do you want to do? And he's like, ah, oh, two and a half, three K. And I said, yeah, two, K, uh, two and a half K sounds good. Um, and then I don't know why. I didn't check the message. I had it in my head. Yeah, we're doing three K. Three K sounds good. I was talking to uh, Ryan. I'm like, oh, sorry, mate. I've already got a three K game lined up. Went there. For whatever reason, we didn't say like, oh, Let's get this 3K, 3K game going. Um, and because he had a lot of pricey units. Uh, so he had like a Paraclass and a Storm Eagle. He had Fire Drakes. He had a Contemptor and Leviathan, some other stuff. It seems like, oh, it's a bit small, but like the uh, Sally's unique units are pretty pricey. So whatever. Um, it wasn't until after the game that he was teaming up a game with Ryan. And he's like, oh, I've got 2.5K here. I'm like, what? And then it's like, oh, shit. 
Yeah, that that's not good. So anyway, um, after crushing that young child's hopes and dreams, because we're going to make this obviously worse and worse than it actually was, I believe it was a young child, possibly in the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and his wish was to play a game of 30k before he passed, and you answered the call by like, mercilessly stomping the poor child. Yes, there, there was much stomping and uh, many tears <laughs> and many laughs. All right. Uh, did we do the super chat from Bryce McEwen, Cat? We didn't. I was too busy putting Darcy upside down. Uh, Bryce McEwen, thank you for the super chat. Put a Toyota decal on the cargo hauler. Gee. I mean, probably. You can't give it stubbers. So, I mean. Oh, oh no. Uh, okay. So, we were just on the Militia Cavalry Squad, right, Darcy? I don't know if you've caught up to where we're at in the stream. But um, there are so many units here. Like the only thing I'm really disliking so far in this whole militia PDF, like, a couple of points are too high. Mm -hmm. But why one special weapon on so many of these squads? It just seems so useless. Yeah, it, it's very strange. Um, obviously, it's been out for what 24 hours, so um, I haven't taken everything in, and I've probably missed a ton of stuff. But yeah, just one special weapon here or there, or like, um, it, it's like, oh, cool, everyone's got auto guns, but one guy's got a melter, and it's like, okay, well, that one melter is gonna do a lot, right? Right? And then it's like, oh, okay, whatever. Well, I said the plasma gun, you're more likely to kill yourself than the enemy. I mean, probably, and, you know, with only one of them, what's the, like, knowing my like, it's like your roll. Oh, look at that. They're both still only AP4. That's going to do a fuck all. But, yeah. Yeah. Macca's convinced just... that having spamming of uh, shotguns is the way to go. Yeah, I mean, that can do it. Um, the sort of stuff I've looked at is... Um, so there was a list I shared with you, Kat, which is like, ah, oh, yes, I'm going to take 900 um, uh, levies in, like, 18 squads for shits and giggles, and it's going to be a game Wait. of, can you kill every motherfucker? And you, even when you do, they come back on four plots. You, like, to... I, I reckon we get the highest body count you've ever seen. You'd, you'd have to do the leader bean, <laughs> the leader bean army, army for that, because you'd have to paint it green and dip it or something, because screw... Painting nine hundred militia, right? You'd oh, you just make, you just want to make beans. Yeah, just be a Lizzo army. Um, no, I think my salamanders are definitely an army that could could just kill for clarification. You said Lizzo army, right? Correct. Good. <laughs> just for, I, I just think for the viewers. Yeah. So, so a lot of the like standout things and army ideas. Again, because we've only had it for a day, tends to be they're like, oh, this is a cool unit that I'd like to run lots of. So, like, um, some people have gone like, oh, we can do some cool things with a shit ton of Ogrens, or oh, another one I've had axes, is yeah. Chain Axes, Thunder Hammer on the side, just really yeah. good because it's monstrous, so he swings an initiative too. Um, and then, like, oh, the Cavalry Squad, how, how many of those can I cram in and just, like, get a turn one charge? Because they're, like, they're moving 14. That's a lot. 7-inch charge isn't unreasonable to expect, so, what, that's 21 inches um, from the line? Hey, if you don't get the charge, well, who cares? They're only, what, 8 points a model? 13 if you pay for the Militia Lance, which is absolutely hilarious at, uh, what, Strength 7, AP 3, Brutal 2, uh, Sudden Strike 2, so you're striking in Initiative 5, so for most Marines. Um, yeah. Well, that's what I was saying to Cal. It's like if you can shotgun a unit first, and especially if you've got the plus one weapon skill on your provenances, and then charge a cavalry squadding, that is potentially awesome. Mm. Like you will do a lot of damage. Um, my thought was taking a bunch of like taking a squad of militia with shotguns, backed up by two squads of levies with las rifle bayonets. So you just <laughs> give them a give them a dose of concussive, and then just bayonet them. Like, you'll win. You'll win combat against good stuff. Like, just through weight of numbers. Mm, so. good, good luck, though. That's what I'm saying. All right. Um, let's keep moving, I think. So, Militia Beast Masters. 
Um, my God, it's the Beastmaster. Um, <laughs> Get it, boys. I see him, Mecca. <laughs> points. <laughs> uh, what do you get? Last pistol, auto pistol, basic course, combo open frag, grenades, flak armor. Seven militia handlers. You can take shotguns. Yes. Uh, and can take <laughs> war beasts. Uh, what are the war beasts like? Mastiff, Philidae, Cayman, Raptor. Hmm. All right. So stat lines. The Philidae and the Raptor are the fastest, then the Mastiff, and then the lowly Cayman, who's the speed of the squad, though, so that's fine. Uh, but the Cayman, ooh, a web skill four on all of them is good. So, hang on, so you're telling me that dogs and cats have a higher weapon skill than the militia? Yeah, they're naturally Goody. got weapons on them. So, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Um, strength five, toughness five, two wounds, initiative three. Like, the Cayman's winning on just raw stats. Um, the initiative five on the cat is juicy. Mm. Uh, all right, special rules. Let's see. So, okay, so these are all over the place. So, fleet for the master, Philidae and Raptor. Furious charge for the master only. Rage for the Philidae only. Feel no pain, five plus for the Cayman only. So, he's actually going to get that. He's on the only units that's going to reliably get his feel no pain in the list. Um, and Shred of 4 plus for the Raptor only. That would be good if they weren't in a unit of dudes who aren't shrouded. Yeah. Bit of a pain to juggle and decide which is which. Yeah. Um, I... uh, the Cayman is the best bet out of all. Yeah. Ones. Same speed as the Handlers. Yeah, I'm I'm just looking at this um Beastmaster's rule. So So the unit may include one war beast for each militia handler in the unit, and all war must be war beasts in the unit must be the same type. So they are one unit, right? The Beastmasters mm -hmm. and the War Beasts are together. They're not two separate units on the actual table. Mm-hmm. Which means that any speed that you have on the war beasts is detracted from by being stuck with beastmasters who are slower. They have skirmish, so they do have a three inch coherency, which is good. Yeah, Better but the actual crossing the, the table is not going to be helped by the fact that you've got a movement eight raptor. You said you'd be happy to run a six, a movement six freaking shotgun unit across yeah, the yeah, table. Yeah, but I'm, I'm saying that like. Those these parts of the unit having those additional rules doesn't really help you. It does slightly. Like, so movement six, then movement eight. So you're just outside of you just inside coherency there. Just say the three inch. You can just get that. It's that extra distance for the Cayman. Not one of the yeah, Cayman, but you but want your little bit of you extra want your unit. militia handlers out the front to absorb the Overwatch and the and the rounds coming in because you want the war beast to make it in combat. You, well, they don't you, have to you, be out front. They yeah, just they don't, have to you, be in range while shooting them. Yeah, because yes, you that's, select that's, who, that's who true. attacks. That's yeah. true. Yeah. So yeah, you're just I, getting I was, in there. I'm, I'm yeah. I think if it was me and I was taking the shooter, I go for the Cayman because the extra points into the movement stat on the other ones is sort of a waste at the end of the day um because you're going to be slowed by the handlers at least until they get killed and then after they get killed well they're just going to go after the closest thing no matter what so it's sort of like who cares at that point i don't have control whatever the cayman on the other hand is as fast as the handlers so they're not no one's slowing each other down their strength and toughness five which will push up the majority uh unit toughness from uh, three to five, whereas in comparison, um, the dogs are four at least, which means you're, you know, slightly tougher. But the cats and the raptors are three, so you know, Cayman makes the unit tougher getting shot at. Um, they're better in combat with the strength five. They're more durable because they've got the five up save and the five up feel no pain on top of that. And again, toughness five means they're not being doubled out easily. Um, like, like the only bad thing is that they're only initiative three, um, whereas everything else is four or five. Shotguns on the on the handlers, problem solved. 
Exactly. So I, I'd say take the Cayman. Yeah, take the Cayman. When in doubt, team, take the Cayman. Um, I will point out as well that that double wounds and feel no pain five plus, for, you cost five points more, but you essentially are double the resilience, if not mm. more. You're going to get wounded by, well, the others are all toughness three. So it's going to be way harder to wound this squad with Caymans. Like, way, way harder. Instead of like, bolt it, guns it, wounding you on threes, bolt guns are wounding you on fives. Exactly. And you're going to get a feel no pain against it, which none of the others are going to get. So it's incredibly big resilience buff for five points. It's just, it's the standout by a country mile, I think. And whereas the movement buff is so, so situational. Like, I think there are going to be so few times where you really get to make the most of it. Um, and like shrouded mm. four plus on the raptors only. Correct me if I'm wrong, but don't the whole squad have to have shrouded for it to work? Uh, not entirely sure. Okay, I'd be curious to see. I thought it was the whole squad had to have shrouded for it to apply, but if not, it's not so bad. But if the whole squad must have it, then it sucks. Well, even if you handlers. you have it to take advantage of it, um, even if the whole squad doesn't need it, you have to allocate to the. Raptors, which means you're going to kill them first in all likelihood. Um, so it's like, okay, I'm intentionally killing the stuff that I wanted to take first rather than the humans, which I don't really care for until the last one gets there because after that I lose control of the unit. So it's like, okay, I can get this shrouded save that the Raptor brings, but only if I start killing the Raptors first. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm going to really refer to the Caymans as demi ogrens because that's what they are. <laughs> right. also, um, I was going to say that they're also infantry, so you can chuck them in a transport. Um, shame there's no assault transport in the list, but hey. Can you take the land raider? Yeah, you take the land raider one. in the back of the ute. In the land raider? Yeah. Uh, no, it's... A, it's it's, a, it's, it's a, only it's the, the Proteus? Land raider. Yeah, it's the Proteus. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> But um, just the mental image of like a Gorgon heavy assault transport coming out and just a bunch of fucking Caymans rolling out of the front, slowly crawling. <laughs> well, you could take a full squad of militia and Caymans in a in the hauler, in the cargo hauler in the, in the <laughs> toy to pick up. Um, all right, Purellus Militia Sentinel Squad, sixty points get you. Um, a Dreadnought ordered off AliExpress, the Wish Dreadnought. Uh, <laughs> Web 3, BS 3, Strength 5, Tough 6, Wounds. Tough 6, but only Strength 5 is a bit of an odd meme. Uh, wounds, only 3. That's... I'd expect a 4, personally. Uh, one attack. Ooh. Hang on, so Dreadnought's got, like, what, 4? And this has 1. Like, again, it's only a Sentinel, but still, like, would it have killed to give it two attacks? There's also no way to give it like a power claw or something for it to just hit people. So it's hitting it. Chain strength. ones always had that giant. Remember they always had the giant chain sword on the Ketachan ones. Yeah, um, I could have sworn the, the new armored sentinel had like little grabby claws or something. Ah, uh, well, it's yeah, it, it's a shame. You're really taking these as like um a mobile Fuck heavy support. That's, weapon. Uh, I was going to say something that would have got us instantly demonetized then, so I won't say it. <laughs> what a letdown! Yeah, they're... I'm going to I'm going to say it was hay as spades. So you work out the rest. Um, can swap the multi laser to an auto cannon for free. I guess that's okay. Missile launcher for five points is. Eh. Yeah, Try yeah. and crack. If it had um flak, I'd say yes. Last cannon fifteen, multi melter fifteen. Um, if I was going, to, I'd take the multi melter. More shots. You're fast enough that you can and you can move and fire. You'll be fine using the multi melter. Interesting yeah. that they reiterate mechanized unit subtype here when they had it at the start of the book as well. Hmm. Um, plus a scout move. Yeah, yeah, if you're going to take nice. this, multi melters would probably be the only word out. Multi melters or auto cannons, the, like for free, there's no reason to take a multi laser if an mm. auto cannon is free. 
I, I think if I went for like the multi mount to scouting sort of unit, I wouldn't go higher than three because they're pretty pricey. Like they're not necessarily bad for the points, but they're very pricey. You can get better anti tank elsewhere for cheaper if you want the long range stuff. Yeah. At least it's not like a land speeder, which is almost identical stat lines, where the land speeder, um, you know, it's grabs, so it can't have like cover saves or anything like that. At least it's going to benefit from cover saves and stuff. Mm. I would take it, but it'd be a bit of a meme unit in the list. Yeah. Yeah, the fact you can't give him ballistic skill or is trash. It should be some like targeter that you can give them, right? They also can't take a searchlight or anything, so if you get Ooh, night fighting, you better hope the scout gets you into range. Granted, if you got a multi melt on yeah, the scout master. Um, <laughs> what, if, what if, though, <clears throat> I, this is not immune to instant death? Not just that, it's not fearless. Yeah. Would this mean if you had a squad of, say, five and you lost three? The other two fail leadership check, they just flee the board. They are malicious subtypes, so yes. Yeah. They're goody. Um uh, yeah. and under careful reflection, these are trayish, hot trash. At least you have uh, the capability to take them, hooray. They they should be a far cheaper because they're almost the same points as a Proteus Land Speeder, which is not a good unit, and that is a lot better than this. Mm. Um, I'd say this is a 40 point unit not a 60 point unit yeah, they need more options they need yeah. to make the up armored version of it to make it toughness 7 or something or an extra wound it needs a targeter and to give it yep. mystic skill 4 and it needs a freaking searchlight or something for night fighting and it needs a heavy chainsword heavy chainsword yeah. um, as an upgrade would be totally fair especially because the catachan sentinels which I think they might still sell I'll have mm. to double check they definitely have a massive chainsword on them because it was for, like, you know, cutting down the trees and shit as they were walking. Oh, and they also need the ones, the forklift one for yeah, that the industrial. Loader. Yeah, that works well with yep. the industrial world. Which counts the power fist. Yeah, get mm. their, all your loggy, loggies and stuff to be going out in the field with their forklifts. Forklift yeah, license. That'd be you know? awesome. Just have the power fist armed sentinels. Yeah, I'd do that. I'd take 10 of them. Fuck yeah. Yeah, the, uh, scout, uh, the scout sentinel, it doesn't have a... Is it a combat knife? Yeah, they've got a little chainsaw arm. They still sell that. It's just out of stock. There you go. Just like everything. All right. Uh, next model is the Imperialist Militia Thunderbolt Fighter. 120 points. So that's a huge it's... discount from the other one, from the... From from the Legion one, yeah. Legion I was 170. I was telling people about all my cynical ideas, Darcy, like about them using the new plastic line would perfectly sync up. And so far, it exactly has matched up. Um... <laughs> But I got this one wrong. I predicted that it was going to be the same crappy version that everyone else got. This looks good. Is it's still pleasantly crappy? surprising. Oh, I mean... That's just 120 that's a, points crappy. That is so much firepower. This is two Sentinels it's in price. It's six skill three. But it's, well, bringing four, it's bringing three times the firepower of two Sentinels. So the comparison to make would be to the Legion Xiphon, which is also 120 points. Well, the Legion can take a Thunderbolt fighter, so no, it wouldn't. Yes, but I'm just saying, uh, fast attack fly, 120 points, what's the point of difference? So you in instead of uh, twin link LAS cannons, you just get two regular LAS cannons, so yeah, a bit worse, but hey, it is what it is. Um, instead of the Xiphon rotary launcher, you get the auto cannons instead. Um, so the auto cannons are worse into medium armor, just because you got to rely on the rending um, to get anywhere, and they don't have the AP. Whereas the Zyphon Rotary Launcher is Strength Nine and AP Two or One, I think. Um, so it is worse, but it's not terrible. Um, like Mika said, it's got the five power of two Sentinels for twice the price, or a little bit less. Um, and it's a flyer, so you can actually hunt other flyers. If, you, if you're just hunting other flyers, rather than trying to use it as like a um, ground attack aircraft, where you're trying to take out tanks, it's pretty good. Most flyers are like rear 10 or maybe rear 11, so auto cannons are perfectly fine for trying to just strip hull points, and you've still got the two les cannons to, you know, straight up just blow them out of the air. Um, and les cannons can do that to, you know, storm eagles, um, 
one of these won't take down a Thunderhawk, but like you get three of these against the Thunderhawk, you can probably take it out in a turn or two. Although I will say now, third line. So if you do get through on this, it is probably dead. Yeah, I look third line. I don't know if you guys discussed it. I don't think it's as as big of a drawback as you think. Um, yes, Glance has become pens, but that's not really scary in return for like okay, if safety one AP two, they get a chance of blowing you up. That sucks if it does happen. But in return, you don't give up kill points. And at least at the current missions, five out of six yeah, of them that's pretty big, yeah. Kill points are pretty big. So I it's not necessarily something I'd love to have on every unit for me. Yeah, it's, uh, it's good that they're giving you choice. back the whole no kill point. <laughs> yeah, that would be good if it's a choice. It gives but, you a discount or something. Bizarre. It is bizarre what units are on, because I was joking with Cat about the fact they put it on Land Raiders, that Land Raiders are <laughs> third line. So like the most modern, uh, up-to-date tank that the chapters are literally screaming to get off the, get off the Imperial well, Army. Well, they're probably like, yeah, refurbished, third ones. Line. refurbished ones or something. <laughs> Yeah, yeah they're, they're the old junker ones that got left behind after the compliance came to the world because they just weren't worth fixing up. Uh, what are the heavy crack and frag rockets like? I'm guessing they're like a strength six missile doodad. Uh, let's see. Missile, missile, missile. Uh, so heavy frag is 36, strength five, AP five, uh, large blast pinning one use. Yeah. Then the heavy crack is strength eight AP three Skyfire Sunder one use. So if interesting you, if that it's Skyfire. You could really hurt a Thunderhawk with that. Hmm. I, I like think it, maybe if you had two of these with heavy crack, it would probably do as well against a Thunderhawk as three of these without heavy crack. So it would be a significant discount in that very specific situation, right? I, I think what I was saying earlier is sort of what this unit's for. It's for this is your air to air interceptor and that's what it's yeah. really for. Um, that's fine. I, I'm cool with that. Yeah, I like it. I think it, like in a pinch you can have it try and take out tanks, but I wouldn't take this as your anti-tank. I would like to see them bring back things like the chaff launchers. Um, you know, because uh, flak missiles just everywhere. Um, mm. It is know, missing a lot of options that I think the Legion one has, but considering what they're trying to do with the militia and the whole third line idea and concepts, yeah, I don't know. It's fine. I, I think it's decent. Mm. All right. Uh, so next up, the Imperial Alice Militia Rapier Battery. Uh, 30 points. A toughness 5 rapier, that's fine. Armed with the quad multi-laser, of course. Sorry, the Gravis multi-laser, Copyright Games Workshop 2023. <laughs> uh, can upgrade it to Laser Destroyer for 25 points. Heavy Bolter for free. Yeah, upgrade to the Heavy Bolter. There is no tangible benefit for the multi-laser. The multi-laser has been a weapon since 5th edition that's had no place. Mm. Um, <laughs> the heavy bolter battery is better because it's four shots, like, on a heavy bolter now. So a Gravis heavy bolter battery is like eight shots. That's fantastic. Um, the laser destroyer, though, I, that is, that's good in this list. Like, That'll yeah. mess up Terminators, that'll mess up vehicles, and you're not paying that many points for it. Like, you can pay 55 points for a Rapier battery with a Laser Destroyer, or you can pay 60 points for one of those crappy artillery pieces. I'd take this. Yeah. And this is tougher than the crappy artillery pieces. It's at least toughness 5. I know the Magna Laser Destroyer on the Vindicator is twin-linked. Is the normal Laser Destroyer also twin-linked? I believe it is. Well, that's massive considering they're only BS3 base. Um, twin links saves your ass so many times with shit rolls. Um, I'd also be twin yeah, links twin links shock six, six. Six. Yeah. It, It's good anti tank. Um, 
It's better than anything I'd also else be... I have. Mm. Quad Lord show with frag shells. I it's not. I, I still the laser destroyer is probably a better pick. Um, but again, it's artillery. Blast, blast because... is so bad now. Like the only artillery I wanted to take so far is the mortars. Mm. But like the... a, a squad of mortars for just pinning because you can take like ten of them for two hundred points or something and hide them behind a, a, a hill. Aren't the frag shells also pinning on the quad launcher? They are, but why pay all these points for a quad launcher in elites? Oh, sorry, in heavy support. Um, Fair point. Um, you just take a laser destroyer, which is going to, you know, or mortars. Mortars are so much cheaper. Yeah. I don't know. I, I guess the thing that jumped out is like, oh, well, BS3 doesn't matter when you're firing templates because you're scattering. Yeah. 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 But um, laser destroyer, yeah. I, I think if you're going to take these, uh, either keep them cheap with the heavy bolters. Or actually dish out the points, sorry, shell out the points for laser destroyers and get yourself some good anti-tank. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're a very good unit and the points is really good for what you get. Mm. All right, uh, Imperialist Militia Melkador. Uh, does it have the same options as the Marine one? Let's see. Front mounted Gravis Les Cannon? Check. Vanquisher Battle Cannon? Check. Hull Laz Cannon, check. Sponsoring Laz Cannons, check. Yes, you either go all auto cannons or take the battle cannon or auto, uh, all auto cannons or all Laz Cannon loadout. I would take the all Laz Cannon loadout personally. Uh, it's an amazing tank killer and Terminator killer. I'd probably go with the Vanquisher over the Gravis Laz Cannon Tyrant, even if you went with sponsored mm-hmm. Laz Cannons. Vanquisher Just the brutal matter. to an armor bay. If I was killing tanks, yes, definitely. But yeah, it, I, I don't think you'd ever really want to take the just Gravis Laz Cannon. They're the same points for the Vanquisher, and the Vanquisher just gives you such a better weapon. So I'd either... Like, the Battle Cannon's trash. Pay the 10 points, take the Vanquisher, have it actually do something. It's only 45 points to upgrade this to have three Laz Cannons and the um, Vanquisher. Just like the version of this model that I created that is on Colts 3D and is visually distinct from Games Workshop's intellectual property. <laughs> uh, available to you now. The... That's the Outer Circle 3D Colts, right? Yep. Yes. Check it out. The Leedem the lead Pattern Battle Tanks. I need to name it something that was... <laughs> and it's such distinct. a majestic name, the leader. It is. It is. Aren't these las um, cannons all over the shop? Like shooting. Well, like, they're slightly the recessed into the hull, um, but you can fire in any direction you like. So it's not really a big deal. Mm. Um. Yeah, I. Forty-five points to upgrade this thing to have. Three Laz cannons and a Vanquisher cannon. Do it. That's mm. nothing in the scheme of points. It's what, 230 points? That's armor 13, 13, 12, five hull points. Yeah, it'll, it'll probably make its points back. Like, you know, if you've got dreadnoughts or something across the table from you, this is something that can hurt them. Big time. The other thing as well, it's reinforced, so it'll ignore all the crew shake and crew stuns you cop. Um, and, it's, which, and it's third line, so you're not going to be bothered by those pesky um, giving away victory points. Mm-hmm. So, again, e- even if it, uh, you do cop some glances that turns into pen, you're ignoring half the table anyway. So, again, really good. I think, th- again, third line really doesn't hurt that t- this tank that much. But, yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, let's move on to the Militia Liam and Russ. Interesting that these are in heavy support, because I think the Solar Ox basic Russes are in fast attack, are they not? I think they are. Um, but I think they also have Scout as well, and then their heavier ones with the different weapons don't have mm. Scouts, and then the more sort of Lehman Russes you'd have sort of sit in your back lines and just shell the enemy. Um, but yeah, it's... Yeah. Okay, so... 
if you were taking the list that allows you the provenance that allows you to take multiple Russes as a squad, I would take them over the Melkador. But if it was a singular one, I would probably take the Melkador over the Russ. And only just, only just. But Melkador are moving four inches faster, so if you are in trouble, you can get yourself out of there faster. Um, because really, you're going to take the Vanquisher and the Laz Cannons and Hunt Tanks and Terminators and Dreadnoughts, or you're going to take the Execution of Plasma and Hunt Marines. Do you think there's another loadout you would take, Darcy? Or no. Um, for me, the Gravis Laz Cannon is just a worse Vanquisher at the end of the day. Um, the Auto Cannon as your main weapon, just doesn't do enough. Granted, it's free. I'd take it over the Battle Cannon because the Battle Cannon is just hot trash. Um, but are only five points for a Vanquisher? Like, why oh, wouldn't that's you? That's insane. That's insanely cheap. Mm. Um, Battle it, awful. it sucks that you can't give him that ability skill. Like, at least the Solar Ox gets the radio guy. So your yeah, tank yeah. commander. It, you can tank yeah. commander, but the tank commander uh, frustratingly only gets a freaking Battle Cannon. But yeah, I don't see any yeah. way of up, upping the uh, ballistic skill on this, which is the Vanquisher is two shots, say eh? The Vanquisher cannon? Yes, I believe it is two shots. Br mm. Two shots, Brutal 2, Armor Bane. So you're going to be hit one, right? Hopefully. Yeah, yeah you should. Um, plus they're cheap enough that you can take mul multiple when you're running the Provenance and have like a squadron three. Two shots on the Brutal 2. That's, um, that's so can, good. Can a Master of Signals well. boost this? No. I, because it's one unit within six inches. It does not one lead unit to start his unit within six inches. It would have to be your master signal would have to be a from a legion that's the top tier of um, allies. Because at that point the units count as the same army for the purposes purposes of buffs. Um, but yeah, that that's one thing you can do. Because um, if you had these in squadron, you had a squadron of them with vanquishers and. And Gravis Laz Cannons, and then you buffed the squadron with a Master of Signals. Five of them. Oh, that, that's five of them hitting it. Jesus, that. Uh, um, the one that thing I will evil. say. That is pure evil. That's pretty evil. The one thing I will say about the Executioner variant is you're paying the same points as a Marine Predator um, that also has plasma. I mean, sure, you don't get the heavy belt responses, but. but Frankly, that useless. Yeah, losing the sponsons definitely sucks. Like, it, again, it, it, one of the Melkador's ben benefits over this. I, I mean, one it sucks. 13, but isn't the... 14 uh, for the Russ. But Some you've the got three. the range on the Executioner to step back in your own oh. deployment and just lob plasma yeah, at why shit. Why does the Executioner have 72 inches of range? But that is just the most potato. It's well, also it's going up from. Rifle. And Mimsy's yeah, yeah. sniper rifle, right? Well, last right. edition, same, it was same only 36, barrel. so they got range out of nowhere. Executioners um, don't look like executioners. You've got to strap 10 Mimesis together. <laughs> Good luck trying to put um, five of these on the table, though. Oh, they're a squadron, so they can shoot to each other, can't they? So you just snake them up the yep. table. I mean, squadron rules suck, but yes, you can do. get away with squadron rules. With I, I would not take this. Not in a squadron. I would take the Melkador. It's faster, it's got more individual guns on it, and you're not paying many more points for it. You're paying 65 points more, yeah. um, but for 65 points, you're gaining two more Laz Cannons, as well as an extra hull point at four inches of speed. And the reinforced. You one point of armor. And you're reinforced, yeah. yeah. I'd, uh, if, I would consider, if I was only taking single tanks, I wouldn't take the Vanquisher one over a Melkador with a Vanquisher. I would consider the Execution Plasma one because it's a different role at that point. Um, yes. Well, you got three heavy support slots for a reason, right? Exactly. But the other thing with the Execution of Plasma, um, depending on your table and line of sight, yada, 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 you just hit the rust in your deployment with its ass on the board edge so you never hit in the rear and just have it shuffle to where it needs to hit. You can give it searchlight so it doesn't have to worry about range and night fighting. It's a template. It's a BS3 bit whatever. Um, like, yeah, you can't take sponsors, but if you're just having it sit in your deployment, sort of just lobbing shots out, you probably are either going to be outranged by the sponsors or by the time 
that they've reached the tank, shit's already hit the fan, and it's not going to make the difference. Yep. Well, I think we can uh, say it's decent. Definitely it's decent. decent. All right. Uh, all right, moving on. Sorry, Kat, you're going to have to give away the beautiful drawings, but a gold star for your effort. Better than that librarian sculpt. Um, Imperialis Militia <laughs> Heavy Ordnance Battery. 75 points for an Earthshaker Cannon. And I'm guessing you can upgrade to a Medusa. Yes, you can upgrade to a Medusa for 25 points. Ugh. Why? Hey, the I would, say, I, would not, I would not take this in the first <laughs> place. Because... Even if you are strength eight, you can't kill anything on the marine side anymore. Uh, I mean, it's a crap load cheaper, I guess. Than... The only time I would take this is if you're playing, like, you know, ahead, you're only playing like Solar or some Militia. And even then, it's like, eh, there's better shit to take. Um, it's. You can take 16 additional gunners, man. It's hilarious. You're gonna want them though, because if you lose your gunners, so so you need to take the gunners. Yeah, if you lose two, they run. If, You're done. Yeah. Mm. Well, no, not just that. If you have more militia, oh, sorry, more guns than militia, you can't fire them. Mm hmm. So. You then also that to, brings just, down just, the toughness. Look, Thirty-six of the guns. points. Exactly. It's. It's unfortunate because ideally you'd want an equal number of gunners to guns. The guns so you can benefit. have the bulky rule. Why it's doesn't sh- it's like jet bikes not having bulky? It's it's just you look at it and you're like, really? Or even that, just the artillery subtype should make it so that the unit uses the artillery's toughest until like for it. Well, you're this one has a special version. I, These I sixteen know. crew are like one whirlwind scorpion shot away from meeting the emperor in person. I mean, so, to be fair, Maka, motion is the one scorpion shot away from meeting the Emperor. Yeah, but you're going to lose Indeed. so many points in these guns. Yeah, there's, there's crappier shot. guns That's than the Scorpius the that's going to send these guys to see the Emperor. A lot crappier. Yeah, the, they also take up a heavy support slot, and there's already lots of good shooting units that you could take elsewhere. Uh, Agreed. In it. Um, and, and, like, the militia list... It's not hurting for artillery platforms, like not in a literal sense, but if you want artillery, you can get it in the troops, you can get it on other heavy support units. You know what it is? The question is, what does an artillery piece cost? Because is 75 points, because that's, or what, what are we saying a gun itself is? Um, a gun yeah. itself is 65 points for a basilisk gun. Is it worth 65 points? to upgrade something, if it was another thing like a Predator tank, and you wanted to give it this gun, would it be worth 65 points? No. No. What would it be worth then? Well, let's look at the Whirlwind Scorpius. Whirlwind Scorpius is, what, 120 points off the top of my yep. head? Mm-hmm. Rhino chassis, 30 points, right? 35 points. 35, yep. Uh, so 35 points away from 120. And also it has an extra point of armor on the front, which was used to be 10 points in the old vehicle design rules for that first point of armor. So that's 45 points away. So we're down to 75 points for the Scorpius. Now the Scorpius is less range, but also pinning and rending. Not just that. It's rending to four plus. Mm. But its shorter range also isn't an unu- unusably short range either. 24 is still a very good bubble. Um, and when yes. you're on a vehicle that can push up to the midfield or even like your third, you've got you're projecting enough pressure that the like 24 inches indirect is fine. It does the job. Whereas this one, like okay, it can't move, so it needs the additional range. But it's like oh cool, I'm 120. That matters to the one apocalypse game I play once every three years. Yeah, so if a marine weapon that is far superior is got to be worth far more than 10 points more, and 
then of course you've got the cost of the crew to factor in um, as well, which is by the time you pay for your crew, you've met the points of the marine weapon, basically. So mm -hmm. just basic maths in my head. If I'm trying to think about this logically. Like if I was the game designer, how would you fix this? Because this is one of the few units so far that I look at. This and the other like weapons thing in the elite slot, I look at both of them and I say, these units do not work in the game. Possibly because the writers don't understand the game, like beyond a very narrow vision of what they play, perhaps, or what they've play tested. I'm not trying to be an arsehole to them at this point in time. Uh, so this unit needs to be 30 points cheaper. You make this a 45 point or a 40 point unit, I'd say you're probably in the ballpark of what's actually playable on the table. I I wouldn't even say that. I think this is a fundamentally flawed unit that points alone won't fix. I think at the very least... Well, we're talking memes, right? This is a meme army well, meme. Yes, yeah, obviously. But I think realistically, it needs some rule that allows it to use the majority toughness 7 for a while longer, even if it's like... Uh, if at least a third of the unit is got toughness 7, then you use it for the majority rather than over half or half, right? Um, and I think the weapons themselves need to be better, even if it's something like they get breaching 4 plus and large blast. Because at least that way, on a large blast, you're creating enough hits to get enough, you know, rending wounds that you can actually take some stuff out. Or even 5, five plus, because 4 plus might be a bit too strong. Because the obviously, as you've said before, the riders wanted to march the marines across the table and not get dunked on by artillery. A five plus is it does enough to get a few wounds through to do something, and it's actually impactful on the game rather than just hey, I tickled you, hey, I tickled you, hey, I tickled you. Yeah. Mm. Kat, do you have any thoughts on on this? No, this is trash. Apart this... from your lovely artwork. Same as um, same as it's always been, right? In Heresy yeah. Two, Heresy Two screwed ordnance and batteries and the Medusa. Why didn't they bring back the, the Griffin mortar? The Griffin mortar, they could have actually made an artillery weapon that can actually hurt Marines. Because the only thing, ironically, that this stuff can kill is other militia. And I know that like there's so many fanboys out there who are like, oh, but Marines shouldn't die to some crappy human weapon. They're all walking tanks. Like, yeah, Marines are superhuman. We get it, but for the purposes of constructive gameplay, gigantic artillery shells the size of the Marine hitting them at a thousand kilometers an hour are probably not too, you know, they're not good. Uh, the Marine would probably spontaneously, you know, deconstruct when hit by one, right? Regardless of his armor. So to see such mighty artillery pieces just reduced to such patheticness, it's just sad. Mm. Yep. All right, let's go on to the next unit. Um, uh, but like, that's it. Two units in this so far that I'm like, this sucks. But everything else I think is really good. Um, mm. Imperial Militia Gorgon Heavy Transporter. 250 points, 40 transport capacity, super heavy. Third line super heavy is interesting. That's they made this armor 15, but they couldn't good. make the Mastodon armor 15. <laughs> And not just that, like, what the, the Mastodon front compared to this front, like, that's just, like, a thin ramp that lowers down. The Mastodon's, like, fucking thick-ass plates on two hatches that are, like, super reinforced. It's like, I ah, mean, oh, yes, this is clearly front 15. It's not that this is too strong, it's like, bring the Mastodon up to this level. Mm. Third line and super heavy is such a fantastic combination. One, price of failure is no longer a thing, so you're not giving up VPs for losing your super heavies. Um, or and it's only a heavy runner. support choice as well. It's only a heavy support. Um, because it's a super heavy, it's only AP one and two weapons that you really care about glancing you. And realistically, if they're shooting you with laskins, they've got thunder to actually, you know, punch through. Um, my the only thing I don't like about this is it's not an assault transport. Um, mostly from the fact that the list still doesn't have an assault transport. So all those units like, um, not Gorgons, uh, Ogrens, or maybe the fucking Caymans, that I want to, you know, maybe get off the ball quickly and dump and, you know, charge and punch a Marine in the face, 
can't do it out of this. But transport capacity 40, you could at least stack a few militia squads in front to act as um, a blade of wounds, essentially. Yeah. This is good. Mm. This is really good, especially for the points. We have weak from behind, so really watch out for like our flanking marine shit. But yeah, this is really good. Would you upgrade any of the weapons? I don't think I would, unless it was maybe going to the pintle mounted heavy stubbers. You could upgrade those to Falkite culverins if you took the right provenance. That would yeah. be worth it. The I wouldn't bother. I'd keep it cheap because two fifty. While it's a good price for what it brings, it's still an expensive relative to what you're transporting. Um, so you don't want to go too overboard with it. And at movement eight, you're going to be moving the thing flat out every turn. Um, so it's only going to fire one weapon at full BS. The rest is snap shooting. So there's not really much of a point, in my opinion, on upgrading the weaponry because it's going to be wasted. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Mm, actually, no, the provenances, I just went and checked, don't actually affect it. Almost none of the provinces affect the vehicles, so. Mm. Although you could do something by putting, um, taking the provenance, the, the not Volta Votan provenance. Oh, uh, the um, Cyber Jacks or something like The ones that give them a Battlesmith roll, right? Yeah. They could be a bit of fun in here, especially if you have, you know, big squad of infantry in there, because the character would get a shot at it in the infantry squad. Um, Ooh, especially because you can't... An, um, yeah, yeah. Especially since you can't blow it up in a single shot from an explodes result, and it's got eight hull points, which is meaty enough that you can actually get some good use out of the repairs. Certainly interesting. I don't know how I feel about the Gorgon mortar batteries either, because scrolling down, mm -hmm. there are uh, basically a short range mortar, only 24 inches, strength 5, um, AP 5, heavy 1, large blast, barrage pinning, and one use only. If it was multiple uses. Uh, I, I mean, like, at the end of the day, if you want to be able to shoot with both of them, because you've got two of them, you're only able to move four. Um, at least fire both at um, full ballistic skill. Why? So, super heavy. Does that... Oh, hold on. Does that let you ignore the movement? Hmm. It did. But we can research that one. We'll add it to the list. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, it's good. Regardless, it's good. So let's move on to the Bane Blade for 400 points. That is significantly discounted from the Legionnaires Astartes version. Yeah, I think this should be the standard cost. And honestly, I think this is too much. So this is too much. It's still too, too much. Yeah, this is, this <laughs> is a lot probably... Of for, if it for... was heavy, man. If it was heavy... Uh, what, who's taking this as a lot of war, dude? Get out of here. Well, here's the thing. Because of the way the Lord of War slot works, you don't actually have to take this as your Lord of War. You can take any of the Marine Lords of War. You can take any of the expanded Marine Lords of War if you want a different Bane Blade chassis. Granted, you're going to get screwed over on the points cost. Um, but you can also take like the Solar Auxilla or Kyrian Stormblade uh, if you want something better. So even though this one might be underwhelming, <clears throat> you do have options. You can take a Knight even. Um, so the the fact that this is your only Lord of War isn't necessarily a negative. Um, I it like third line. <clears throat> is good. The combination of third line and super heavy is fantastic. Um, honestly, the worst part about it is the fact that it's a Bane Blade cannon, and you can't get any of the other variants. That's yeah, that is exactly where my head is headed at, and that's why I think four hundred is too much because the only things that the militia can kill are other militia with these weapons. <laughs> Like the best weapons on this tank, ironically, are Sponsons. The Sponsons mm -hmm. going to last cannons is probably <laughs> going to do more damage than all the battle cannons in the world. And the, and the demolisher on the hull is way too small blast. Like that small blast, everyone who's tried Vin Vindicators and you know, I've spoken to has hated them. It's only like a niche comments I get on the videos. 
from people. So, I versed to say they're good. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I, I came up against the Squadron of Three Vindicators last week. They shot at my dreads. Um, all three of them were hitting two contemptors at the same time, so six hits. Um, they only did four wounds, and I saved every single one because none of them got rends on a two up. They, they just. I laughed them off. They were that bad. Yep. They just they just suck. So and and the problem is I think a lot of the units like the Basilisks, Medusas, Bane Blades, um, Limb Rust, they all suffer from points based off last edition. Mm. Because the riders don't understand just how much they've destroyed templates. Or they do and don't give a fuck, which is but I'm preferring to assign to incompetence rather than to assign it to malice. Mm. It's because, a bang. like, just, just how much stuff are you going to come across that is heavy mm -hmm. and has a two up armor save or a three up armor save? Most of the game, like, yeah, is is going to have a two up or a three up save, and out of that, every Death Star pretty much is heavy. Cataphractic Terminators, or like Phalanx Waters, or Suzerain. Indictus Suzerain, of course. Um, they're all heavy. Siege Tyrants, they're terrifying if you are playing Militia. Siege Tyrants with the alternate <laughs> missiles, like the, the not-frag missiles um, that they have. They, like, Yeah, you, you go up against these units, you are in serious trouble. And mm. you have no response to them apart from your laser destroyer, uh, <laughs> rapiers, and your vanquishers. Uh, vanquishers. Van vanquishers, vanquishers are very good at killing terminators. I yeah, will say you're that you're going to want them. So, I guess that is one thing to take away from this list: is Malkadors and squadrons of Russes. Different things that they do, but they both potentially have their uses there. I would say Malkador at least one. Is going to be almost mandatory if you want to fight dreadnoughts, and unfortunately, it is going to be like taking a sicker in Arcus. It's it's going to be a fucking bullet magnet. <laughs> like, there's no way yeah. around it. So, at least the Vanquisher, though, you got decent range. You might be able to stay out of return fire range if you play it smart, and you do have the speed at movement fourteen to really get a Melkador around the battlefield. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you have enough infantry like running across the table, you will give them something to think about. So yeah, um, I guess that takes us to the weapons list now. So their shotguns are assault two concussive one, which is great. Uh, apart from that, most of their weapons are as per, you know, they're what you expect. I don't know why the auto rifle and the las rifle. Uh, you know, I actually, yeah, I, I don't know why they bother to give them different stat lines and to not just say that just they're malicious small arms, you know, give them a blanket term because they've just got extra entries in the units in the entry section here, but they seem to be functionally pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe the LAS pistol, uh, the LAS pistol has three inches more range than an auto pistol, but Ooh. it fires twice. So I guess that's different, but the there, auto rifle is identical to a LAS rifle. So. Are there any upgrades that you can only get for one and not the other? Like the LAS gun is the only one that can get upgraded to the Volkites for the Armoury Vault Knight prominence? Something like that? Well, there's the LAS rifle, <laughs> LAS carbine. It seems to be like just different weapons. Uh, I don't know. It's just an odd little thing. It doesn't ruin the game or anything. Um... All right, that Ripper Gun, Strength 5, Assault 5. It's a lot of shots, but no AP. It's never going to kill anything. Yeah, it's one of those blunderbuss weapons where it's like, oh, 70 shots, 70 dice, and nothing. You know what You know what it's going to do? It's going to make it harder for your Ogrens to charge. Yeah. <laughs> you don't, And it's going to give the <laughs> enemy a chance to react and kill your Ogrens. Don't. Don't take shooting weapons on Ogrens. Like, you want to get them into close combat. Like, the Thunder Stubs, their other guns, range six inches. Like, yeah, good. How many times are you going to get the whole squad into range to even use it? Um, Ripper Gun 5, six, man. That's 50 four. shots. Ballistic skill 2, yeah, but still 50 shots. What if you roll on heart yeah. and you roll all sixes? 
Man, freaking um, pin meta, bro. Well, it's not a pistol, so it won't give you extra attacks in close combat. <laughs> it's so um, It's just it, about the shooting. Boom. It, it's not. Let's see. What are Ogre, is Ogren's Blissy skill two? Yep. Mm -hmm. They sure are. So sixty shots, twenty hits, uh, around fifteen wounds, give or take. Of that, the Marines are going to fail one or two. Two to three on average, they'll fail. That's and how many points good. are they? That'll be fifty points to give them. So, so you're gonna, you, yeah, you're gonna kill like twenty points of marines with fifty points of weapons, and probably make you charge harder because they'll just take from the front, and suddenly you seven, six or seven inch charges and eight or nine inch. And not only that, again, it doesn't <clears throat> like you. You swapped a boarding shield or an extra close combat weapon for mm -hmm. that. Yeah, that the five up in Vong is worth much more, or the extra attack. Like the extra attack means that you can get like more, more wounds in combat. Plus, they can't um, like because you're not shooting them, they can't uh, return fire and then Overwatch if it's a key you know, unit. You know what? The thunder stub. It might be worth taking. Two in a squad for the concussive, yeah. But if you have it, I'm pretty sure the whole squad has to have heavy, or nobody gets heavy. Yes, so, which is a stupid rule. I know that's a hangover from the overcorrection for people taking like a Praetor with a boarding shield and putting in a 10 man marine squad from last edition. Well, the, the whole Bravian, squad... yeah, the... yeah, and then the, like the whole squad got the. <laughs> Defensive grenades and stuff, but it's a massive overcorrection, right? Yeah, uh, I, I think if you break heavy, then losing all the benefits and downsides of heavy isn't too bad. But... I think you'd be better off just to run five cavalry with shotguns nearby and just run up quickly, you know, do a shotgun drive by. Um, uh, is there any way to have a character have the like a melee weapon, the sh uh, boarding shield, and the pistol? Not that I can see. Because mm. you're going to use your upgrade to put a Thunder Hammer on the Ogren Sergeant. Mm. I, I'm more talking about an attached character. Um, well, they can't they're... attach them because they're the monstrous unit type. Ah, uh, um, yes, 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 yes. Unless you took something else, but then independent character would still mean that you would lose heavy. Hmm. Well, no, drive, drive by, drive by bikers is still the best way to do it. Uh, in the artillery cannons, yeah, the only thing that is a, an AP that can hurt marines is the demolish cannon, which we've established can't hit things. So, oh no, it can hit like one terminator on average, two with a good <laughs> roll. Like, oh shit. Hmm. Uh, the gravis heavy bolter is cool. Uh, if you're going to take a rapier, it's that or the... Laser destroyer. The needle weapons. The needle volness is interesting. Heavy 2, poison 2. Breaching 6 plus. I don't know why breaching 6 plus is such a weird thing. Pinning and sniper. It's so odd. The needle cannon. Heavy 4, poison 3. It's like the old uh, rotary cannons from 1.0. <laughs> The Assault oh, Needler. What is that straight out of Halo? The Covenant Assault Needlers? Yeah, so if you ever wanted to run your Covenant list in uh, Harrison, that's how you do it. Yeah, 343 Studios, Sue Games Workshop, stealing your IP, bro. <laughs> Games Workshop's all for suing people over minor shit. You should do it too. Unless it's um, uh, Disney using the uh, power vehicles in one of their comics. Multi laser is heavy three, so heavy bolters went up to heavy four, but multi lasers stayed at heavy three. So sad, <laughs> so sad. Like if you take a gravis multi laser battery, you drop one point in strength, Darcy, but you get two extra shots with the heavy bolter. I just take the heavy bolter. Yeah, like, against marines, he's probably going to be forcing more saves. Yeah, I mean... And against Southern Militia, you'll actually 
get through their armor saves, whereas they'll get a save against the multi-laser. Yeah, uh, it's... <laughs> the long laz, the heavy one sunder-pinning sniper long laz. Um... Pinning is good, but the, uh, it's only 48 inches range. It can't hurt Marines. That's a big detriment. And heavy strength 6 plus Sunder, is that enough to reliably hurt vehicles? No. The sort of vehicles you want to hurt? No. Is it enough to hurt Dreadnoughts reliably? Not with that AP. So, apart from being a meme weapon, I honestly think the long laz is not worth it over a sniper rifle. The sniper rifle is actually better at dealing with dreadnoughts. Mm. And against vehicles, like I said, laser destroyers, just just do it. Mm -hmm. uh, what other esoteric, esoteric weapons do we have in here? Oh, the uh, blast charge on las rifles is now only AP four. That sucks. Yeah, that's a shame too. Because you, I guess, if you took the relentless though, if you take the relentless um, provenance, you can mm. move and fire them. Yeah, the slow and pers purposeful one. Yeah. Well, there's another one that would give you relentless. So there's a few oh, okay. there that are decent. Uh, Alright, plasma weapons, obviously the execution of plasma cannon for some reason. Is... <laughs> oh, it's, it's 48 inches range. I thought it was 72 in the Marines. Maybe nah, it's was... 60. 60, not a 72. 60. That's right, I knew it was some ridiculous range. But, so I mean... It... So it's a dodgier version here. Oh, but it's a large blast here. It's a large blast in the Marine one as well. Is it? Okay, it's... I'm, I'm losing so the... my marbles. <laughs> It's because it's the same weapon, but it's got like six different stats depending on which book you're looking in. Um, look, 48 inches is still enough range. Unfortunately, that means you can't outrange the Lescan and Heavy Support Squads, which will murder you when you shoot it. But, yeah. Hmm. Interesting they've put all the Volkite weapons in there. I didn't realize that many units had access to Volkite weapons, but in retrospect, they do. It's just one model in the unit. <laughs> well, what a, fucking, uh, what a fucking pointless waste. To be fair, if you take the um, weapons of Old Knight Provenance, you can give, like, uh, the Volkite Charger to most things that can take LAS rifles for, like, 30 points a unit, 20 points. So there's something there. Hmm. Okay. Grenade launcher. I like grenade launchers. Just they need to change it to like one in three can take a special weapon, like the old fifth edition guard, because your ballistic skill is so bad, and because so many of the weapons that were good, like you know plasma guns, are so bad as well. Like they will <laughs> more chance to kill you than to kill an enemy, because the AP four means the the overheat is probably going to cook you. Um. Yeah, I. I feel like one in three would be a lot better on special weapons. It would it would make them a lot better overall as an army, and it would not break the army to do so yeah. because they are so. They need something to make them able to actually fight marines beyond the meme factor. Meme means um, only get you so far. Um, how would you sure. fight custodes with this? Uh, vanquishes and pray to God. Ogren's uh, killing them? Oh, uh, no, is one Ogren is killing them. One Ogren. Mm -hmm. but no, no, take, they, take they just, uh, they'll just challenge the Ogren and then cut him down with AP but, sword initiative. No, 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 because and, you and have the Master Cadre in there and the Medic and all of the jazz, right? Does the Medic care? It won't matter at that point because the Custodes are probably just going to soul right gauntlet him. Instant death. Yeah, it's right and, and they'll nemesis him, so he won't be able to hit them. Their weapon skill is so ridiculous, he just won't hit them. He might yeah, get plus one, maybe two hits. Not just that, the extra attack from nemesis as well. Just... Nemesis yeah. and a Solrite power gauntlet is just... Nah, Ogrins are fucked. <laughs> mega, <laughs> mega quadruple 
like if they're fist and shield boys or like Aquan Terminators or something, like that's <laughs> like uh, the Thunderhammer Ogram will probably take a few swinging if he can last, but it, it, it's not enough to turn the tide at the end of the day. Plus, if it's a challenge, it's only going to combat res. And the other custodes are probably wiping the unit or getting close to it. Yeah. And then no, there's your precious the shotgun factor. murder. Like your how many shotguns? This is a, this is especially where you would want the boarding shields because it's the only thing that would give you even the faintest hint of a chance against Solarite power gauntlets on custodes. Because or Imperial Fist um Huskals, they're another one that'll just the strength ten hits because every <laughs> single wound is instant death on overruns. Every single wound. Well, the, not just that. Um, if they get lazy, and especially because like the nastiest, well, I say nastiest, but like the recommended custode list, if you want to be a dick, is to run lots of min size squads of the guardian spears, right? Because mm-hmm. uh, the ogrens have militia. If they charge in with two squads, then you've got to take a leadership check or break. So. You know, it, like, they don't even have to kill you. They can get yeah, lucky. That's, yeah, that's right. It's, I was talking about that earlier with Catamite. Just double-charge things. Like, yeah, there's a lot of units on the board, but who cares? You'll be able to find situations where you can double-charge all the time. I wouldn't be surprised as well. Um, you'd have a really easy chance to, say, if you've only got two units to assault, um, you can have one unit multi-charge, like, three militia units and they'll probably survive around and you just have that last one charge into a unit like a turn and just go munch 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 you get it you get a munch four times mm. Mm. um are there any inter- other interesting weapons in here before we wrap it up the paragon uh, blade gets an in- entry when one thing can take it right if you take that problem one provenance yeah. yeah that's very weird well, they have to put everything that has an entry in, except for, of course, the um, third line reserve. Well, no, land, because land it says that you need every book in the entire lineup so far to play this, use this. So, <laughs> yeah. okay. I, I think the only other noteworthy weapon is the Militia Lance and the Melter Lance. I did underline that. How hilarious they are and how the fun. Melter Lance is so good. The Militia Lance, though... Uh, if if it was strength eight, consistently would help. Well, I f- if... I feel like having an allied in Moritat would really, or like having a Moritat around who can just rad grenade things. An allied in Moritat. The like, like if you were taking militia and you allied them in, and there was a Moritat floating around. Good point. Mm-hmm. Actually, I... that works really well because it works well for rampages because you can get them up to strength. Six, because uh, plus one strength for the Alex Blade, plus one strength for Fury's Charge. You're doubling out stuff. Not that you need to, because you've got six million I've been telling you to attacks. take a Moritat without guns for how long? You need one with guns, because the bigger meme comes from ignoring their first wound that you'd take with uh, Disintegrators. Ooh. But anywho, um, this this is redundancy. Like, if he's around, he could, could do this, but it's still AP3. If it had rending or something... It, be but good. it is brutal too, and it is sudden strike too. So you're hitting before Marines and they're having to take multiple saves. Um, if you again, can them somehow first. Even it better. It's really, really good. Um, the other thing as well, because they're on the cavalry unit that's quite fast, um, you could have them flank around and go after heavy sports squads, um, and they're cheap enough that losing some guys on the way or if you're running two units for example and lose one unit in on the way it's not the end of the world you still got that other one because they're like what 150 points for like 15 of them with the lances yeah they're not Pontos power lance strong but they're pretty strong yeah I like, like they're, they're good they're good enough that I'm considering just like an army all of cav and just try and charge and just keep on charging the ABC army. Always be charging. Yeah. Uh, again, if this is the one time that Salamander's players get to, like, you know, rub our hands together, like the meme, the dude behind the tree meme. 
Because yeah, like but... I got a whole army of <laughs> strength six, AP four templates. <laughs> Do your worst. <laughs> My worst, eh? So you want me to play five hundred points up? Is what you're saying? Yeah, it's it's like because I think in my two thousand point army I have somewhere on the order of sixty strength six AP four templates with salamanders because I I went maximum flamer. <laughs> the Sicker and Venator has three dragons breath flamers. The Predator Squadron has dragons breath all over it. The Tactical support squads, 10 Dragon's Breath Flamers, and the three squads of Pirate Class all have the Dragon's Breath Flamers. <laughs> it's like, if you're an Imperial Militia player and you see that, it's like the old, like, commercial of the Native American, like, with the single tear running down the cheek when they, like, do the littering. <laughs> um, that, they, that they homage on The Simpsons. It's like that. If you're the militia player, you just see the Salvatore's army. So you just put it straight back in the figure case. And I'll just buy you a beer. <laughs> Uh, but that is the only time that the salamanders dominate the battlefield, to be fair. To be fair. Mm. Well, that's it. I think that uh, takes us to the end of it. So overall, what do we think of the militia's uh, PDF here and the strange post-Heresy Thursdays wrapping up, randomly dropping in the middle of the week? Well, if they had to wait one more day, there's another Heresy Thursday for you. Oh, um, wait, what? Yeah, we're getting. Yeah, we're getting another Heresy Thursday. We, but then there's also, is that this weekend as well? There's a thing, or is that next weekend? Next weekend, yeah. just, uh, uh, next boo, weekend. Boo. That's horrible. I can't <laughs> wait for Epic 30k. It's gonna be sweet, man. They they have no com like they don't understand the rest of the world either because they're doing a lot of the reveals on their Sunday. I hate to break it to him, the UK is quite far towards the other end of the world time zone, which means that for everyone who's basically east of them, Sunday is no longer Sunday. Uh, so, at least for us here in Melbourne, I think the heresy stuff shown at 11pm on the Sunday. Um, and from their perspective, the main event, which is uh, 40k and Sigma, is all done on the Saturday. So, yeah, but it's like just just do it early. Do it on a Friday, like a Friday evening or something. Yes, do it. Do start, the thing that the can, that's only convenient for Mecca. Now, no, no, no. But if they did it on their Friday <laughs> evening, it would be convenient for the entire globe. Nah, reported because the British get it at a decent time. The Americans are getting it in their afternoon. We get it in our late, at, very late at night, slash our early the next morning, and we've got everything before the week is out. Because mm. are we going to stream it or restream it or restream it on what what uh, platform? Um, that's a great question. If you're going to be around, I, we, I don't know if you'll be around. You'll I probably will try be and building make a shed. Available for that. All right, we can do it on game shed. If we do it on YouTube, yeah. it can't be. It'll have to be like people that. Aren't drunk or high. <laughs> anyway, we'll talk well, about logistics screwed. later, okay? We'll talk about I, logistics I later. So much, I drank so much. Yeah, I drank but half a bottle of it's scotch your channel, straight. so it's fine. Sitting there with Darcy watching Mad TV the other night. That's fine. Oh, God, that, that was so good. And the Steven Seagal clips. <laughs> yeah, it was fantastic. Just what a piece of shit. Um, what no, an uh, asshole. So, my conclusion is this militia PDF is the best thing to hit Heresy 2.0. It's actually the most well-rounded thematic list with the least amount of this is the must-take. Um, you must take these three units or you're not competitive um, and you'll lose all your games. Or, no, this is, this is great. It's almost like, like the layout is better. <laughs> Mm. The units, there, there, there's two, only two units I would consider subpar in this whole book where I'm like, no, I wouldn't take that. And that is two artillery pieces that, you know what, I probably would take if I took, because if I took Militia, they'd be, you know, they're straight out of the trenches allied with my own warriors. I'll be honest. Mm. Um, but that's it, two, two units. 
and apart from that, just a couple of points reductions on a few units is all I dislike, really. And, a and few that's more amazing. Special weapons. Mm. Like, it's not like Legion is a Stardis, where it's like, here are legions that are clearly a mile ahead of other legions. Um, you know, there's none of that in here. Yeah, definitely. I, I think for me, um, there's a lot of interesting options and a few different routes that you can go down. And it doesn't feel like Militia Last Edition, right? It felt like you either went with the full um, fearless levy spam it took 300 models and it was just like whoa, uh-huh, try and kill whoa, me whoa, 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 whoa. that only lasted for a very long very short period of time they got rid of the freaking fearless and they just had two different flavors of stubborn well that was from 2015 to 2019 so four years and then it took them three years that they're only i was so trying they, to get my arm together on. damn it it's not my fault i'm a slow <laughs> builder and painter and also i can't um, get games because i get kicked from the, every discord and then the other sort of side or even component to that greater army list was you took the Medusa field artillery and just shelled people. Um, and that was sort of all you really saw. There, were, Of course, there were individuals that um, sort of went wild with the different provenances you take and did some really custom force. Um, I saw Beastman Militia a couple of times that were really nice looking. But I think with the new provenances, there's... A lot. Of, uh, there's a lot more different options, and there's no one clear standout. Like there's the yeah, cavalry. They're, they're all pretty list. bad. <laughs> well, make of that what you will. But um, I, I think there's different ways you can run the list, and not feel like oh well, I should have really run them the other way because it's the only way that they really work. No, I I I I, I agree because they're going to get trounced either way. It doesn't matter how you're running them; they're going to get trounced. <laughs> I actually think Trinity there are bugs. several ways that they can be competitive with the Astartes. It's not many, but they are there. But it does require a bit of, you know, a bit of gaminess, a bit of list building shenanigans. Um, but it doesn't have to be at the expense of theme, and it's not the sort of thing where people are going to be like, oh my god, that is so cheesy, I can't believe you. Um, which therefore means it's good. Well, what a what a funny way to wrap it all up. <laughs> so that's it. Um, thank you, Darcy, for coming along. Uh, thank you, Kat, for your lovely artwork in the background there. And, thank you for having me. Uh, uh, anything left you want to say, Kat? Because uh, I think we should just wrap it up here. Leave no, on a high. I think that's that's it. We thank you for joining us for this deliciousness. Look out for memes for it. I'm sure there'll be many. You gonna make an army, Maka? Are you actually making an army? Oh, I'd already started making an army. Remember my my flat faced Iron Warriors militia. Oh, I already forgot about that before you said it at the start. Okay, yeah, <laughs> let's leave it on that. I'm gonna go wash myself. Oh, man, I hate those heads.